transition it. <laughs> I I recorded all that. That's definitely all going in the MP3. In the uh, I'm just looking for talking about my stock. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for the fucking stop tick veto. Oh, you don't know Sound where it is. No stock tip veto. Where the fuck is it? The point Search bar doesn't work. Of course, yeah, of course not. Did I bring that in already? Oh yeah, badge. That's what I want. <laughs> Bing. I, I always go to this little search bar to find fucking Bing shit. Why don't you organize things into folders like they audio are, uh, clips? Look, look. What do you call these shithead? So sort You're just every time I can't. I struggle uh, to do something for one second. Is why don't you do this? Why don't you just unplug it and plug it back in again? Okay, I'm it's fucking sort infuriating. Sort by name. It already is sorted by name. That's what the little arrow. means. Means on so the top. why do you not have stocktipveto.mp3? That's what you should Bro, call are you, it. Bro, I should put it all in a, as a fucking flat folder and put everything in the same folder? Well, why you don't nuts? you make a folder called Audio Stingers? It is, but I don't know where it is. Is it this one that's a stream deck? No, that's pictures for okay, some reason. So that's pictures in your I don't know why that is that. How, is it under audio, perhaps? That would make sense. There, I found it in two yes! seconds. Yes! Oh, nice job playing it. And nice job clicking on something else. That's what it's like with you. Stock tip veto. Day trader veto. Always with the hot stock tip. That's, no. that's what I needed. Thank you. The point Fuck. is that though I have made some bad stock plays. Billionaires have too. Billionaires have as well. Uh -huh. And also anyone who has been paying attention to my stock tips stock tip veto. Yeah. that Day I've been giving. Uh -huh. um, they the lost a bunch stock. of money no, too. No, they're getting rich. What are you talking about? They're get crawling out of the hole. They're crawling out of the stock hole. I'm crawling veto. out of the hole. Day they don't, maybe veto. they're not in a hole. If you started tip. now and you're using my stock, stock tips, tip veto. anyone who's listening veto. to you for All stock tips was in a deeper tip. hole than you. It's quite Let, possible. Like, I mean, understand that part, too. They went through and they're like, God, I'm I'm fucked. Vito's always lying about how much money he's making in the stock market on Twitter. Maybe I'll do what he says. <laughs> well, I'm the next. I'm, they're buying fucking I'm glue. I'm technically or making money. Medicine or just because I was Vito, down doesn't mean I'm not Vito, making money now. Stock, like I'm making yeah. money from where I was. It means you're gonna be down a shitload of money. Let me predict it. If you keep day <laughs> trading, possible. if you keep day trading, yeah. in ten years you're gonna be down ninety percent of your not, money. I'm not okay. I'm not, and I'm gonna be up seven percent. Every year yeah. for the rest of my fucking life because all I do <laughs> is put it in. I had a consultant. You get us hit a certain age, and they're like, "Hey, uh, yeah. I'm your like guy that they assign to sell you on our bullshit products that like cost a shitload and right. don't make more than the index." Um, uh, what do you want to do? And I said, index only. And he goes, okay, well, you know, I mean, that's, that's index only. He goes, well, we got this one. I said, index only. He goes, well, you can have this account account over here and just have a little play money. I said, hey, dude, I don't. Are you a fucking wealth manager and you're telling me to play around with money? But Get you are here. okay. Hold on. But you are playing around because you have a bunch of Bitcoin and uh, what do you call it? Ethereum. Playing around. What Ooh, do you I get? got? I got a lot of Bitcoin. You got a lot of Bitcoin. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, you got a lot from a certain individual. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not playing around though. That's new technology. It's the same. Yeah, that, well, that's what I'm investing Ethereum in. New technology. Is, you're investing in hymns. How's, investing how's in, erections new technology? Uh, getting autistic kids the drugs they want without the them having to that? visit is a doctor. Me? Is there no audio? Hold on, hold on. Test Hello? one. Hello? Hello? Test one. Ethereum new technology. Is, yeah, there is. All right. I Who's calling you? Of, I don't know. I've been getting a ton of spam calls. Uh, AI. AI. Oh, uh, what now? What about AI now? I mean, if you're not buying AI stock, what are you doing? You haven't bought any AI stock? Microsoft's in the index fund. Yeah, I know. That's fine. So if you buy index funds, you will what do benefit. I need more AI? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're so impatient. I am impatient. You saw that thing I posted? You're like, ah, ah, where's the pussy? Where's the pussy? Where's the pussy at? I gotta find it. All I'm saying is, did you see that news article of all the, all the different AI companies NVIDIA's been investing in? Who cares? I care. Did you see the? Wait, I, yeah, shut, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Did you see video, the fucking AI video, videos? I know you did. Why are you rolling your eyes? That's the future of everything. We're that was gonna fucked. be my. That was gonna be my problem. Well, maybe I'll just do that I'll one. AI it. evangelist. All yeah. right. Well, that's what. It, yeah. It's guys who are like, oh wow, a computer made a a computer turned words into like a three minute shitty GIF of video. Shitty. Are you kidding me? That like the dogs in the snow. I'm like, well, we're just. I've never seen dogs in the snow before. <laughs> oh wow! I wanted to. I saw that video. Of Are you kidding? Dogs in the snow? Where can I get that? <laughs> I saw that AI video of dogs playing in the snow, and you shit yourself. I felt very close to. I was like, 
If I was going to kill myself, this is the video I would be watching when Jesus I did it. Jesus Christ. Because I saw that and I went, there is no uh, artistry left. Everything you know will be falsified. What like, are you, God's, our name are you talking? <laughs> AI existentialist. That's my problem. Sure. AI existentialist. I don't, I'm, I, there's no. You are one. Yeah, well now I feel, simulation you know, theory is real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're too much of a pussy to believe in God, so you believe you want to believe in a computer that runs everything. I don't want to believe. I'm terrified of it. It's the worst thing that's ever happened. Actually, I saw that's b still too much of a pussy, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm a huge pussy. <laughs> Life is horrifying. You need to ex if you're afraid, you need to accept Jesus Christ. There's nothing rather than computer machines and the Matrix, like Andrew Tate. There is nothing more horrifying to me than the idea of a uh, a cute animal playing one of the most pure. Like experiences, or just like just that experience. Why a computer can now just replicate it and shit it out? What the fuck are I'm you like, talking what about? The Why? Fuck? You ever like yeah, uh, I could, you want a cute animal doing shit? I could go go down. What time is it? I could go down tonight. Adopt a dog. Do it in the snow and then shoot it in the fucking head. <laughs> What's the big fucking deal, bitch? But the fact that that can be just replicated by a computer prompt, this unfeeling. No, there's no, and it's not even like CG where like a human being is contributing some level of artistry to it. It's just show me, show me a beautiful field of flowers. Show, yeah, show me a picture of my father smiling. And that's called just, a book. <laughs> that's what you guys, you no. nerds are all losing your mind and yeah. pretending like, pretending like it's the end of the world. The end of the world. Oh, my, my creativity is being challenged it's by this thing. Creativity. What you're describing is a fucking book. Right. It's a bunch of words that makes an image happen. But a computer's instead of just reading the prompt, oh, it's a bunch of puppies playing in the snow. Oh, a bunch of puppies playing in the snow. Computer's like, like this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I know. I know what a bunch of puppies playing in the snow is. I don't need you to in, you to use like sixty fucking billion dollars of shit to show me what that is. I see it. I'm terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought on this topic. But none of you are good, any good at making stuff with it. it so who cares? <laughs> I don't need to be good at it. Cause you know what, my kids will be like, "Hey, Dad, what'd you do when you were uh, when you were young?" And I'll go, "Oh, here's a video of me winning the Olympics." <laughs> and they're gonna. And they'll go, "Is that real?" And I'll go, "It's all <laughs> real." Well, they're not gonna. They're not gonna ask that. <laughs> you're, and, and what your your a computer will be showing you this yeah. scene of fake children asking you. We an could old we you. could nuke Russia off the map, and well, then I bet you'd people love would that. go, "What used to be there?" And we can go, "Well, it was a country called." Jumbalu and it was populated by the green people and here's we an do endless that. repository of video and whatever now we can just invent we already do history that. now yeah well now <laughs> we already fucking do that God. what's the why are you guys so impressed by this shit we already do all this stuff that's what annoys me about it is everything you guys have is like yeah we already have fake it's all Man, fake news. you're the, yeah, we already you're have the problem this remember week. remember covid you're the oh, problem guys on the on the floor <laughs> uh, where's that what was that what did an ai do that oh. this is like a philip k dick style nightmare this is this is the guy a book also a book also a book okay yeah. okay you need to actually be good at writing to use this stuff this is the guy who treasured his uh his antique revolver and he kept it with him for 30 years. The one day he brings it to the pawn shop, and the guy goes, it's actually a very well-made replica. It has no historical significance. You've uh -huh. been carrying around a lie. And that spoke and to that you will as be, a lover of, a that worshiper will be of toys everything. and shit. That will be everything. Everything you know will be a lie because of AI. What is the difference? What do you? What well, is there? You who live in an <laughs> eternal fucking uh, nihilistic Haze. enigma. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, to you, nothing will you change. You need to accept Jesus Christ. That's your problem. <laughs> That's what they keep computers telling me. Computers can't fix. Computers can't fake <laughs> your acceptance of Jesus Christ. I gotta open my church. Not your church. The church of the Lord, Jesus Christ. He'll be part of it. No, he's. He'll be one of the many uh, the deities one... that are accepted within our doors. Uh, no, 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 no. None of this shit. None of this what do you mean? No, it's all bullshit. Jesus. All Jesus. It's all all the time. Jesus or nothing. What about Muhammad? We like that guy. Fuck Muhammad. I didn't even feel what comfortable the? saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you get a sponsorship talking like that. Oh, man. You think Muhammad would like lolly? Do you think he'd have any lolly horse porn on his If on any his deity hard drive? was going to have lolly, Muhammad would probably be one of them. He'd probably be, click he'd probably be calling Mr. Girl pedophile, and then he, he'd go, Muhammad Aisha goes, Chan, no! I can't believe uh, how adorable you are riding the Barack. The Barack, hey, that's a horse. Barack cock? Wait, the original lolly horse porn consumer was Muhammad, 
who had a child bride and a magic horse. Him and Vosh are the same guy. <laughs> Vosh is Mohammed. <laughs> it's all making sense now. He is the prophet. Vosh, <laughs> Finkel the is Einhorn. Vosh is Mohammed. <laughs> How did we not see it before? It's so obvious now. <laughs> Vosh, hell be. Vosh. Can I get a call to prayer real quick? You got that music queued up at all? Actually, I do. Vosh is the prophet. Vosh has taken a child bride and put her on the magic horse. Mr. Girl, pedophile. <laughs> Vosh, number one. But this, uh, I thought it was Goblin. I thought this little girl was Goblin. Goblin the Barak cock is what I say. I thought she right, was a too goblin. early in the show. Do the today. show. AI is going to kill you and your entire fucking family. Oh, this guy. Biggest. If you ever make problem. They're like, oh yeah, say something about the Jews then. The universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe. From uh, Common Core Math to Will Wheaton's Wrath. <laughs> I'm your host, Dick Madison. Joining me as always, Vito Giswaldi. Hi, Dick. That was from Mindless Fudge. Fantastic. How you doing? Well, I was good until I saw those fucking dogs. You know, uh, it's, it's really nothing. It comes from your own narcissism. This this uh, exuberance slash existentialist crisis that people get over AI mm. because they are trying to signal to everyone that the computer is making something that they themselves are worthy of making. When it's reality, not about that. it is about that. <laughs> It's about recognizing. Let's okay. ask the computer what it's about then. And Let's see put it, if it this gets way. Close. Okay, I play with my cat. I love my cat. I feel a deep connection to my cat. And I want to protect it and make it happy. Deep, like knuckle deep. But now I realize that connection is just brain synapses firing in the same way that they will be firing when I can generate an AI cat to follow me around the house or whatever the. You fuck. didn't know that already. I mean, this is like this is like. 20 year old shit, man. Come on. You're not supposed to be having existential crises but in your I'm 30s. Like a, well, I think that's the perfect time of an existential crisis, no? No, that's a midlife crisis. Well, what does that one go? How does that one go? That I, did, one ends, I didn't buy enough cool shit. You don't have enough money to have a midlife uh, crisis. You just broke even from all your fucking stock tip trading. Well, if I make another comic book, maybe stock I'll be okay. Veto. You have to make veto. one all comic book, Vito. You have yet to make one. It's coming. And the second one's coming as well. Can we uh can we get a And we're gonna make a video game. That's gonna be good. Can we get an over under on your comic book? Over under on when's it coming out? Yeah, like who's the closest to guessing when it comes out wins uh wins an appearance. I think it'll come out Killer at the same time as Ghost of the Badlands from uh Razor Fist. Now you're deflecting, which is what they do. And uh, G Prime. Razor Fist, who, you know what? I won't even talk about it. What? You got What are you gonna say what about Razor? Well, Fist? I can't he's remember. A cool guy. Is he the one who's like? But he's like made videos where like he makes little jabs at me or something. You should be so lucky to be a jabbed at by Razor. Well, he Fist. made. It was like one video where he's like, and I get. I bet Vito Giswaldi likes that. You know, insinuating song. I'm like, is your audience even you like get that reference? Was it something you would have liked? No, well, it was like a like a like he's a pedophile, pedophile joke. Yeah. I was like, wow, am I that ingrained in the lore that you can just say, like, what Vito would like? And You constantly what defend you constantly? Lolly. And no, I fuck. don't. Uh Bro, you're like the Roadrunner. If I if we were Roadrunner and Coyote, yeah. and I and like the Coyote puts out bird seed for the Roadrunner to stop, is like never fails. He'll always stop. Sure. And the audience knows he'll always stop. I would put out an argument about pedophilia on the road, and you'd go, me, me, and go, I made fun of Vosh. I think it's funny. Go, you you know? know? Oh, and our, oh, pedophiles actually That's deserve our fucking true. empathy. I have not said that in so long, but they do. And uh, what was I talking about? Uh -huh. I don't even remember what topic we were on. Oh, uh, yeah, Razor Fist's comic is late. And he had a 15 year old girlfriend, but that's unsubstantiated. Oh. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Like, uh, I'm just like, when I find this stuff out, I'm like, wait, why is everyone going at me? I don't get it. Uh, I may be able to help you with that. <laughs> well, you got something for me? It just seems like all these guys who come Vito's Twitter. have like actual fucked up Vito's shit. Twitter. This you're coming at me Vito for? Being Vito on Twitter. What the fuck is this, bro? That's my, uh, that's. This is what you, Vito's you Twitter. made this for some reason. I made that post on fucking Twitter. Yeah. Vito being Vito you, on made, Twitter. you made a little Japanese, like, 
Alita girl? <laughs> what? That's cool. On Fucking... Can't you just Vito jack off Twitter. to it and then like delete That's it? That's not Lolly. She looks. Vito I don't even know Twitter. what fucking age she is. The AI made it. Vito 14. I said make an Vito anime Vito girl. Vito I didn't say make Twitter. a 14 year old anime girl. Make an girl. anime. Oh, I, the cat's made little. I don't know where Vito's that came Twitter. from. She could be 18. That looks 18. She could Vito's not Twitter. be 18. <laughs> Show it again. Absolutely not. Vito's Twitter. That could absolutely be an 18 year old. <laughs> Vito's Twitter. Did you, did you tell the AI that? Make sure she's 18, no, by I the way. No, I said make a goth uh, anime girl uh, standing in front of, like, some cyberpunk-looking shit. With pigtails and stuff? With well, the, look at how, this. It looks like they, she just learned makeup for the first time. That's how you know no, it's a little girl. that's how they do that shit in Japan, that fucking fashion, that gothic fashion they do. They all dress up like little it's China dolls. It's a little dolls. bit pedophilia. For, to that even is not pedophilic in the slightest. In the slightest? You're gonna say in the slightest? She's not even she's not even like naked or anything. She's fully covered up. Okay, I'm, I'll tell you what. I'm imagining a woman right now. If you tell me you're which- You're pedophilic for thinking that is pedophilic. No. You tell me <laughs> you tell me if the woman I'm imagining yeah. looks more like a child or the one you made with AI. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, exactly. Shut up, yeah, thank you. I Thank didn't you. tell it. That's why people are if giving you shit. If you put anime girl into the prompt, it uh, defaults to making the typical anime girl protagonist, which is like, I don't know, young. 12. Not 12. You I don't should know. be, it actually it should email the FBI. <laughs> well, Bing made that. So that means Microsoft drive. is full of pedophiles. It is. Microsoft yeah. so is full of pedophiles. So there you go. It's their fault. That's what we've been saying forever. Hold on. Let me. Those were cool. Those were cool AI them. images. I like that. And I like my AI skills. I think I'm killing it. Speaking of my AI skills, guys, biggest problem in China bonus episode. I made an excellent thumbnail for that episode. Oh, yeah, you did. And uh, you can watch cool. a preview of that on the YouTube if you like the preview. You can hear me and Dick talk about how Chinese food is disgusting. Uh, listen to the episode on Patreon or backed by. Okay. Uh, big winner. Do you, do you know who it is who won last week? Check the updated votes. Nah, I don't. I'm not going to do I that. I want to check the updated nah, ones. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Vito wants to grind the show to a crawl because I'll just, no, 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 no. That's it. <laughs> Wait, no. no, check it. What is check the current what? vote Why? total? Because I don't believe you. You're such a poor sport. Well... You always say it's going to grind the show to a halt. To type it always in does. No, it doesn't. It you always grind does. it to a halt by refusing to it do it. It always does. There Fuck. you go. There you Fuck. go. 40, it's not even fucking close, bro. It was bro. close. It was close. What do you want, morning. a Biden leap? Did you just carry a bunch of uh, votes in at the last minute? Well, congrats on breaking your, what was it, five show losing streak? No one really cares. It's they not do. a contest. It is kind of a contest. <laughs> uh, common core math. Common core math. Liberals infecting, trying to ruin your. I case. know Ooh, the liberals are ruining everything. Uh that's the theme of the show. Yeah, yeah. it's the theme of life. Which liberals. is why I brought in Will Wheaton. I almost would have won because that's another shitty fucking liberal prone asshole. Will Wheaton, yeah, freemium software, yeah, yeah. Well, Apple. Apple fanboys positive at least should have been higher, and then Elmo basic barely anything. That was weird. Probably Elmo a lot of been a lot higher. Probably a lot of sick freaks yeah. who liked Elmo showing their kids show. Elmo. Uh, Apple fanboys is um, it's really annoying. Yeah. I don't know why you guys are so upset by like some stuff costs more than others than your stuff. <laughs> And this is like so out. Like I have a car. Other Fuck, cars. I should have brought in more. some comments. So many comments were shitting on you about the Apple thing. Oh, yeah, here you are. Did you bring any of them in? Or are they all? Why would I bring shitting comments on shitting on myself? That's not funny. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, why would I read comments shitting on myself? Doesn't make any sense. Because you can, you can argue your case against. Well, them. You, you know these microphones are connected to that table that you keep hitting. Okay. Uh, Ben asks, as a star, as a starry eyed young man, I sided with Maddox on the Apple question, but now as a professional adult who works for a living, I'm completely in Dick's camp. Oh, come on with this. Except that I love my watch and it provides a lot of features for tracking your health and fitness. So I can understand why Vito wouldn't want anything like that. Yeah. That's why I hate the Apple watch. He's oh, a professional I just got now. a text message. Instead of reading it on my phone, I'll read it on my wrist. Yeah, it's cool. Wow. You don't have to take your phone out of your pocket. This is so great to have a tiny little screen. 
It's not and a that, tiny little screen. It's the size of and your now wrist. And I can respond to the text, but yeah, you, you can, can you respond to the text on your wrist? Do you talk into your wrist? You can talk into your wrist, or you can Tell select Tom from a number of I'm prompts. fucking gay, and I'm looking at his message on my gay watch. So you're having an existential crisis about AI, but you it's totally unbelievable that a watch could respond properly to someone who texts you. I just think it's gay to talk into your wrist. <laughs> Well, does it have a uh, does it have voice? This guy thinks it's gay. That's gay. Man, That's not gay. How is that gay? It's worse. It's not worse. What's her name? Uh, Why does she have like crunk on her, her shirt? Her name is like a crook. Crucked. Crucked. Well, this is actually a reference to my Kiwi Farm thread, which has been a uh, lambasting me for uh, over this. They sh- this is this is fucked up. Okay, well, good. They can rip on me for my cool AI art. <sighs> it's not cool. Well. It's uh, it's some deep lore, which is kind of hard to explain, but they're mad. Not, that's not hard to explain. <laughs> I could explain that. You, you might have a hard time explaining that to the judge, the, I can bring up the prompt. The prompt was anime girl in front of some gothic mechanical bullshit. I okay? don't want that prompt on my computer. That's well, close enough to I'm pedophile gonna, stuff. Good. You're going to jail. If the prompt made this, then that prompt is basically that child is pornography. not child pornography. It's closer than nothing. It's a girl standing in front of a doorway with a sweater. <laughs> the doorway represents her virginity. Obviously, that you want to tell that that's why it's stained glass because it's fragile. That's you're gonna pump your cock right through it. Look at this one, she's got a skull for us. This is more secret messages that signal pedophilia. They're obvious to me. Which one of these brings it up? The skulls mean the death of her innocence that you want to take. What the fuck are you doing? Because look at who thinks my AI art is cool. Carl Benjamin, aka Sargon of Akkad. Said, well, what are you using to generate that? No, that's a sting. He's trying to it's set you up. It's not a sting. It's a honey, honey pot. If Sargon likes it, it must be good. <sighs> stop moving. I'll do it. <laughs> Fucking stop. You messed up my settings. Oh, um, no. I ruined the show. Juma says, Vito burning a black man's effigy for Black History Month is incredibly uh, based, he says. It was out of solidarity. Probably. I did. You were burning a, uh, eff- a, a pop figure. A black guy. Yeah. Right. Well... I think. Uh, Thank God you took it, so there's no more of those. I thought about on the way over here that there's a there's about a fifty fifty chance in my mind that you will just put another mother's milk pop figure in that box. Nobody sent one in. Well, good. <laughs> I have the head of the mother's milk pop figure. I think I'm going to make it into a chain and wear it from now on. You're gonna put a chain on the I'm black man proudly, that you burned. Yeah, I'm gonna proudly. I don't know if that's what the wear mess- it around my neck. You better keep that in uh, Pasadena with the Asians. I'll or- auction it off for charity. How's that? that- <laughs> I'm gonna auction a black man. In chains. Yeah, in chains. That you branded with your name. A branded. Uh, yeah, exactly. A branded black man. We are going to auction him off. Are you gonna do it in the next two weeks? I don't. Well, if you wait, then, I, then it's okay. If I wait, as long as it's not Black History Month. Yeah, Blart Sampson says, I was laughing so hard at the end of the show, my wife asked why I was laughing so hard, and I explained the whole veto, weight loss, scale, smash, toy arc. Now she thinks I'm retarded. <laughs> well, I agree your with her. retarded. Fuck no, your wife. I think she's right. Nameless says, uh, today's edition of Vito's Booty was so funny that I accidentally cut myself while shaving. It's a big problem. Vote it up. Hmm. Um, that was a problem, yeah. Not smoke says I vol- I volunteer to be the straight man on the biggest problem in the universe, uh, Dungeons and Dragons episode. I have nothing to plug, and I will shit on you both equally. Um, I've had a few people offer to DM the episode. Obviously, there's one fan who has been asking for a long time, so I think what? he gets first dibs. No, why? Because he's I don't, first. He's been asking for like two years to. Run How our, would someone get our DM first dibs? Thing? I mean, I don't know. I guess. Well, Why do you feel like? Well, how do you, you know can... if someone's better than? Like, what's a better? D- you want the best one? You want yeah, the best I want the dungeon very master best. or the worst? I think the problem with that guy though is I don't think he wants to be on camera. It's got to be somebody who can be on camera though, right? Yeah, I don't know about this whole uh, DM thing. How long does it take, like, to play D and D? Yeah, you can do a two-hour session. Oh, two hours. That's how long an episode is? We need like uh, ten minutes. Not doing 10 minutes of Speed, D&D. That D&D. doesn't make any sense. I asked that guy, I was like, do we need anyone else? He says it could just be us on an adventure. Uh, the question is if we want to create our characters on stream or if we want to bring our characters already created. Hmm. Uh, don't tell me what your character is going to be. I think that'll be a fun reveal. A slime. Yeah. Yeah. 
And what are you looking at? My character is going to be a, this. A pedophile. There I don't want to play with this lady. Well, you don't have a choice. <laughs> I, I, I do. Her I really do. Her name is Cynthia Darkblood, and she is a level 12 elf get this, princess. Get this shit out of here. We're going to get <laughs> fucking flagged. <laughs> That's my you're ripping on Shad for this, that guy Shad M. Brooks for this yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm and then trans, you're doing it. but I admit to it, so that's fine. I am a woman, legally. That's true, I guess. Thank uh, you. Martin O'Keefe says, Vito criticizing Van Gogh's art is wild. I really think he can't tell the difference between actual art and his pop culture shit. Criticizing them both with an on-the-face appraisal. Uh, I'd like a new bit where Vito has to watch, read, study something of actual cultural value and present his honest thoughts. Cynthia Darkblood is better than any Van Gogh painting ever made. I mean, I think that you're joking, <laughs> but I think you also kind of think that. I don't like Van Gogh's art. I think it looks like shit. There's some of it that's, that's like, irrelevant. It's not a question like, of do on you a like color it or not. theory level. I'm like, yeah, the colors are nice. <laughs> that Starry Night thing. I'm like, yeah, the colors are nice, but it looks like shit. I cut off my ear. I cut off my ear. Ooh, I'm so, I'm so tortured. I cut off my ear. Well, he killed himself. Look at my art. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, you would never do something like that. Oh, well, if you're not a making, real artist, if they keep making this AI stuff, who knows? Mm. Long walk off, off a short pier. Hey, speaking of, um, I'm glad we didn't do that Madam Web review. Really? I mean, it just looks. It's so depressing. The thought of doing these Marvel movies and having to watch <laughs> them and like pretend to talk about all of them. What do you mean pretend to talk about? Because they're all shit. Your approach to movie reviewing is different from mine. What's your approach? I enjoy dissecting failure, and I think it has much value in terms of... What are you talking about? I, after last week's show, had to listen to you and Randy rip apart my fucking comic book for You keep hours. asking for fucking notes! <laughs> and then you keep arguing yeah, you're them! gleeful about it! Because you keep fucking arguing, and we both know that we're right! <laughs> I'm like, and then you're gonna fucking find out. I'm like, hey guys, uh, what do you guys think of my comic? And you're like, well, it's worse than I saw. And I'm like, okay, that's not where it started. Well. It started with just a, well, here's here's what I would. So improve. why do you enjoy well, that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't improve that. Why actually? Why the re here's the reason I won't do the notes. Okay. Uh, so I do think you enjoy gleefully lip ripping things apart. You just like it when it's me. Yeah, instead but I can't of a make Sweeney, Sweeney, yeah, cry can't make Sweeney, Sweeney cry. Yeah, you can't make Sweeney cry like I did for two hours in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and then you and Randy went, no, Vito, it's Only fine. Only two hours after that? I didn't oh, cry. Oh, man. I, I would think it would have been more. took my, because uh, you haven't read the updated story, Morn. <laughs> <laughs> which I sent to you and to Randy. It's starting to feel like homework. It That's is like homework. That's what makes me hate it more, is that it's starting to feel like I homework. I help, uh, it's part of everything. Like, it's all part of the ecosystem, regardless. Wait, what ecosystem of what? The Are you part of the Iron Age? Iron Age? No, I'm not part of the Iron the Age. The Irony Age. The Iron Age. The Irony is that none of these fuckers should be making comics, because they're not any good. <laughs> a lot of them are Because really none, of none of them are any fucking good, because yeah. they didn't bother to read about how to make a basic story, which isn't even that hard, or mm. fucking sophisticated. They just won't do it. They well, shit out of first draft. You know, here's what I'm gonna here's what I'm gonna support. Sure. Uh, an indie comic that says that has a number of what percentage of the story was rewritten after the first draft, and if it's below seventy five, don't buy it. Right. That's my policy. Well, luckily, my comic has uh, gone through extensive editing process, and uh -huh. I sent it to my buddy, who works at the Hollywood Reporter, and uh, he had. Very glowing notes. He loved it. <laughs> and that guy covers Hollywood professionally, so And he's your he's your enemy? No, no, no. He's a he's a he's a buddy. Oh. Cause I would have you said it like the like the review meant something. So I assumed he was your enemy. <laughs> he was he was he's like a friend of you. He was very oh. much like, you know, I've had to read things for friends before and been like you know, would I read this if they weren't my friend? And he said, yours is one of the few that you yeah, know, yeah. really stands uh, out. You know what I say? Every time I get a blowjob, best blowjob of my life, right? No matter what. Trixie the Golden Witch read the uh, current uh, draft, <gasps> gave it a solid 9 out of 10. That so. little fat goblin that on, is uh, on Eric July's nuts is going to have a crack at it. You I know? think you and Randy just don't get it. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> It was a fun. It was a fun. Look, I've taken. What do you mean by it? I've well, you keep. He keeps saying. You <laughs> kept saying that uh, the main guy is like a villain. He's not a villain. Well, what's he doing? He's what's a bad guy. You can have a bad guy, and he's not the villain. Oh, okay. What's the difference? It's like an anti-hero type situation. 
Can you explain it more than just that? Well, I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> just like speak in general. Like, what's an example of like a? I think this is good. This like is a good villain. for the show. That Dick <laughs> yeah. will, is going to tell everyone my comic <laughs> is bad. I didn't say that. I'm going to tell everyone I, it's good. I didn't and say we'll that. We'll see where it uh, comes out. I just told you some things that I, just. I'm things that okay, I thought I know, of. but I'm getting like crazy notes from from people. who? Well, I asked Mr. Girl what I should do, and he's like, "You got to give her cancer," and I'm like, "Well, I'm not giving her cancer." <sighs> but <laughs> <laughs> should she have cancer? I want to hear more about that. Yeah, well, I would like him to. I'll Mr. Girl's a, sh- a smart guy, you know. He's a smart guy. Well, Too that's smart. The, you know the worst part is when I talk to Mr. Girl, he goes. Well, Dick's a really smart guy. You should probably listen to him. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why does everybody think Dick is the fucking king of the stories? <laughs> yeah, I really fucking wonder. Anyway, uh, I'm very excited about the current draft. It's looking great. The artist is plowing ahead. Okay. And uh, mm-hmm. this says uh, Jarvis says, uh, hey, Dick, shove this in Vito's fat face. I what? I don't know if we have time for this. Is it all my stocks going up that I told everyone to buy? I mean, you shouldn't have told me how the hole that you're crawling out of a hole with that, because I was jealous. I was really jealous. You were jealous stocks. that I was making money. Yeah, I was like, man, how come I don't listen to Vito's <laughs> stock tips? Well, then you should listen to my. St- I was like, oh. Well, yeah, because I made bad stock plays like two, like two, three years ago. But everybody, yeah. remember when everything crashed? Everybody lost money. Nobody made money at then. Uh, this is um, you did if you were had, had some money in bonds. It's true. Pull it out. Shut up. Most based, of my money based is on our student bonds. outcome data study by Stanford and community feedback, we've determined our approach to math has not led to improved outcomes in middle school at all. Uh, student achievement declines in math. Student pro. Oh wow. It's like it's not working. I guess was the point. Yeah, but there's a reason it's not working. Uh, why? I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> <laughs> but the math scores are going down. Surely, surely, what you're not well. allowed to say is. Getting worse? Uh, That's not possible. <laughs> I don't know exactly what's okay, going on. Okay, is it? Let's just say it's not, it's not it the me? kind of uh, problem that any uh, amount of wish fulfillment will fulfill. Dick, I have a, a segment I like. Oh wait, hold on. I have a letter. Uh, I'll do this quick. Hey Vito, big fan of the show. I'm writing to ask a favor. A friend of mine introduced me to Biggest Problem uh, and the Dick Show, and he sadly passed away February from liver failure. He told me in October mm. that he pre-ordered Super Killer. I was wondering if you could send it to me instead of him so I could make sure it's in the right hands. I want TBF to him, and I'm very confident it's what he would want. His name was Jonathan Wilson, and he lives in Tennessee. Uh, I will give you my address. Thank you, and tell Dick to go fuck himself. So, uh... <laughs> How you doing? Oh, yeah, hey! Look who's here. What did, you, what did he want? Uh, he wants to know if issues of Super Killer are transferable upon death. And the answer is no. <sighs> Can you transfer something that doesn't exist <laughs> and is never going to exist? <laughs> yeah, I'll send you a digital. Uh, you can have an NFT version. Guys, don't forget the Ricky shirt now available. Yeah. I'm killed out. Look at that. Look at that. Looks good. It's I like that nice. I got the white in my beard. It's a nice printing. Yeah, it looks great. I like this guy's art. His, his art's really good, right? Yeah, who is it? I don't know if I'm allowed to say. I forgot to ask if I'm allowed to say. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah. Like, damn it, I want to plug it, but I don't know if he wants to <laughs> plug. <laughs> well, you'll find out at some point, because I think I'm going to be doing more stuff with that gentleman. Uh, you may be making another comic? We'll <laughs> see. Get those. We'll You're going to be see. making an omnibus? Yeah, I'm going to make an omnibus, omnibus, just like Isom. He's already got the omnibus. It's starting to make us look bad, honestly. It's so late. It's starting to make me look he bad. He has an entire team of like 20 people making this shit. I got two guys. Me, Can my a guy. a year? I got a colorist guy. It's taking a year. I know. It sucks. It is you. It is not just me. There's multiple people involved. You are the CEO. Yeah. I'm not a good leader. I've learned that. I've known that. I don't like leading things. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but I do like leading us into my very famous segment, uh-huh. Vote It Up! I got something to say. I went to the website today and it really fucking bothers me that Vito's number one. Go vote it up. Rob, fuck your dead to death. Vote it up. Take his problem not sure. 
guys voted Great, up. Thank you. The second, nice and brief. That was sent to us by who? Colt. Uh, oh, Colt. I don't know. It says Colt. I, don't know, I went off the thing. Good work. Oh yeah, Colt. There it is. Thank you, Colt. I that was the name of the song. The name of the All song right. would be. Uh, that was the Misfits. Fucking emo shit. <laughs> emo? Okay, you know nothing about music. Guys, vote it up where we revisit past problems, put them in a new light. Well, Dick, you may remember from episode 55, the problem of celebrity bands. Oh, yeah. This is when celebrities decide to make music for some fucking reason. Ugh. Well, Daily Wire editor Ben Shapiro and rapper Tom McDonald have hit the number one overall spot on the iTunes charts. Number one on Billboard Digital Rap and number one on the R&B Hip Hop Digital Chart. They're I wish they would hit the number one on amount of cancers had by people. <laughs> amount of cancers had at the same time by by famous people. And we, not so famous people. By B list, C list internet celebrities. We did this we did this episode before. List of kidnapping Hamas list of kidnapped yeah. by Hamas victims and raped. <laughs> Tom McDonald and Ben Shapiro. Remember we had Phil Labonte on this uh, show? I do, yeah. I think I've destroyed that uh, relationship by constantly shitting on Tim Pool's music. Well, there's two ways to go in life. <laughs> you either are honest or you make money and live. Yeah. I mean, well, there I've chosen my path pretty hard. <laughs> Tom and Ben's rap song Facts has climbed the charts Facts. quickly. Facts. After its release. Shapiro and McDonald... Uh, trended the song on X, the song which goes after the establishment and mainstream media's sacred cows past such top Shoes? artists as Megan Thee Stallion. I think what's, so. Wait, what sacred cows are they going after? <laughs> ben Shapiro's going after sa which well, sacred cows? He definitely not doesn't talk about that. Look at that. There's another sacred those. cow. What are you hiding? Oh, there's nothing behind the curtain. There's no sacred cows behind the curtain. <laughs> wow. Look at that trans guy. Look at that. Doesn't he look weird? Everybody don't look over here. God. Yeah, you can't. They're going to give trans people a little bit of money. Go, go, drive the trucks. Go, they're distracted. It would be. The, I think, yeah, you're right. The, 80 billion to Israel. Yeah, go, go, go. How many kids did Israel kill? How many How many Palestinian kids did Israel kill? 12,000, is it? Is it higher than that? Well, you can't talk about that. they make NFTs of them at least? Ben Shapiro's not allowed to talk about that. That's his entire funding base. He's got to rap Pew. about the lib what the liberals are what doing. What does Tom McDonald think about all the Palestinian kids that were murdered? <laughs> How about that one that was trapped in an ambulance and they shot the rescue workers that they said could go get her? She was trapped in a <laughs> fucking car with her dead family, <laughs> and they told the, the the ambulance they could go get her out. And then see, they I want to say everybody. that's horrible, but for all I know about that, all I know is that's AI video footage. I don't even know <laughs> if that's real. Now, Dick, I uh, actually was able to contact rapper Tom McDonald on Twitter. Did you transmit a virus into his brain and give him leukemia? I, no, I didn't do that. Ah, that's too bad. But he did give us permission to play uh, 30 seconds of his very popular Ben Shapiro rap song, Facts, if you want to go to YouTube. He's not going to strike us quick. like he struck Chrissy Mayer. Well, a I was going to say woman. one of the problems with this is that any uh, channel that has tried to cover this song finds themselves facing DMCA claims. Uh, We're 100% going to get DMCA hit this. Hit videos. Uh, well, if he does, then he's a liar, and we can talk about that, because he said he put our show on a white list so we won't get struck. With those dreads, I don't think he can use the term like white. <laughs> well, he didn't say that. <laughs> he said, you got to tell me ahead of time. They call me offensive, controversial. There's only two genders, boys and girls. They can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist, yeah, all right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist. Every liberal is right. Wow. I don't want to talk to folks who don't get it. Go woke, go broke, no hope is pathetic. Pro choice, pronouns, pro love, you're progressive. But you ain't pro gun, no one to protect it. Where the American flags at? Remember when people would hang those? They've been taken down, they all been replaced with BLM flags or a rainbow. The same rap, the same money, cars and clothes. When does Ben rap? Ben? Yeah. Where is he? That's it. No, uh, that's 30 seconds. Yeah, but I want to hear Ben Shapiro rap. Here Just like Eminem? Is that, is that right? Is, is, that is, is, that his, is that his rapper name? Lechaiminem. 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 but Lechaiminem. Let's see how Get Ben it? Shapiro... I got it. <laughs> you didn't have to add that. I... <laughs> when you repeat it five times, I, I, I got where you were going. Get it? Yeah, I got it. Let's hear Ben here. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Liz, my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison. I'm on television. Dog, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. So I guess it's just like, uh, that. well, that sucks, by the way. 
That doesn't sound good from Ben. The other guy sounds good, Tom. Uh, I hope that he gets hepatitis from one of those prison tattoos <laughs> he's got. And I mean Ben Shapiro. I hope Ben Shapiro gets hepatitis from the other guy's yeah. tattoos. Here's the thing about rap is um, it's not that hard. I'm going to have to wait till I get on Rumble to express myself. <laughs> feeling a little tight in here. Oh, God. Well, oh, uh, like I there's said, There's some kind guys, of a tunnel I can get out of here. <laughs> ben Shapiro has been crowing about... How they've beaten Britney Spears, Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, Eminem, and Taylor Swift. Uh, that is the problem of celebrity bands. Currently, 116 upvotes. They're so desperate to be famous. All these right-wing guys, they're so yeah. desperate to be part of the Hollywood that they say they hate. You know? That's the saddest part of it. It's like, I'm wearing it on my sleeve. Yeah, I wish I was, you know, making movies. It's not going to happen, but whatever. These guys are like, no, I really care about politics and shit. But yeah. if I could be in like a little comedy movie on the side, that'd be fun too. Yeah. Look, like, we're beating them all. We're beating them all on the chart. We're beating them all on the chart that we have the ultimate disdain for. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look, it's a movie about trans, about trans yeah. kids and how it's not a big deal, and we're just laughing about it. Oh, so it's not a big deal? Well, yeah. Hold on. No, make, it is a big deal. It makes a good point where it's like, well, you know, all of America is so uh, morally bankrupt, that's how they would make a song like Wet Ass Pussy, number one. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, but you're number, number one. one. Yeah! Like, yeah, but that's, like, that's our better. guys are good. You're yeah. Like, but it's the same, like, just same chart. mass. Yeah, it's the same chart. You're promoting the chart. That's what you should, you're doing. Yeah. I don't understand what point you think you're making. Point is, don't see Lady <laughs> Ballers. Uh, was also starring Ben Shapiro as a coach. And he wasn't funny in that either. Did he have a, what was his, even his line as the, not the coach, he was the the ref. Uh, oh, he said, um, he he said, get that cock out of my ass to one of the. Right, because he was getting butt raped by yeah. one of the lady ballers. Or was that, a, that was at the end when they were doing bloopers. <laughs> and he said, hey, get that cock out of my ass. And it was like a cut blooper. Yeah, and they were pulling they were all these anal beads that uh, Ben Shapiro had shoved up and each one had a little Israeli, it was a string of Israeli flags. Yeah. They were pulling God, out I would, I would die for Israel to. <laughs> to touch his to touch his sister's tits though. Oh my god! She's a good looking lady. Fuck. Speaking of touching tits, Dick, <sighs> you might remember from episode eighty four problem I brought in called the lack of good VR porn. <laughs> Who could forget? How how could you? Well, this is interesting because this story actually took a twist. Originally, I was going to report on the fact that with the launch of the Apple Vision Pro. Many users were upset to find it was incompatible with existing VR porn technology. It's bullshit. So the current VR porn videos, you know, there's two different angles for each eye and 360 head swivel and whatever else. Uh -huh. But the Vision Pro doesn't allow you to access that because it can't. It's like the videos are projected in front of you in a space. Oh, you know, like so it's in not a VR. World. Yeah, it's not really VR. It's just goggles. It's just goggles. Screen goggles. Yeah. That's dumb. However. God, really? Yeah. What a piece of shit. Yeah, I don't know if they're making actual V... They must be making some actual VR apps for it, I guess, but they're all going to be like... How could that be possible? I don't know. Because they're using it. It can't it, it can't be... You can't focus like that. It's got to be VR enabled. They're saying all the existing VR porns are, uh, is not that compatible I believe. because of the way it's shot or whatever. Because it's like two... Mm. It's two video images, right? Like, that's how they that's do VR, it. That's VR, yeah. Yeah, but this VR is like one no, thing. can't be. Because you can't focus on that. Because there's two lenses? It's not a, you can't focus your fucking... Look... That would be like this. You okay. can't do that. It's got to be one for each eye. They're lying. Someone at Apple's lying. I fucking know <laughs> when they're withholding porno from me. I fucking know it. Well, I fucking Dick, know they are. Don't get too ahead of yourself because the first adult content specifically oh. shot for the Apple Vision Pro did release on Wednesday. What is it? The series is called Spatial Sex Ed. These are instructional videos on how to make a girl squirt fucking. and can track her arousal or how to track her arousal via her vaginal contractions. So it's for women? It's something to help women feel good? I think it's for helping Fuck men you. make oh, the then, woman feel good. Yeah, that's the worst possible thing right. that there could ever have that could ever be. It's to help you What's it called? Uh spatial sex ed. Available from the Play website. I guess it's called Play, the people making it. I'd rather there be Spati a video spatial uh, oh, with spatial. a T. Yeah. Like in space. Oh. Uh yeah, I see it. There should be a video on how to cut your cock Starring off. Starring performer Joanna Angel. Sex yeah, is in that the it? Sex ad in the multiverse? No, this is not it. Search uh, Joanna Angel along with it. Joanna along with the Angel. Thing. Yeah, I know. Sex Spatial ad. Spatial sex ad. 
Yeah, that should be fine. The first VR. Well, where's the website though? Vice. First squirting. Well, hopefully video. you'll find a link there. We can see what this is. The series is currently available for free via Play's website after an email sign up. Oh, that's too much. Spatial Sex Ed. <laughs> it's free. Yeah. Was shot using the iPhone 15 Pro's built in spatial video function. I so can't play this. He's going to be coming soon. If you have a iPhone 15 Pro, apparently you can shoot video that will be VR and compatible with the headset. This is by Kenneth oh, really? Play. So it's this Asian gentleman. You can show He's some of the, you can show this her? part. No. We'll get struck for sure. See, it instantly turned into nudity. We would have 100% got struck by the listening. <laughs> You're stupid ass. Well, I didn't say play the whole thing. You can play the beginning where he's showing her the, oh, why hey, they it's got, got, this, got lesbians. Uh, why do they got this, like, John Wick uh, villain? Because that's, in he's going to show you how to watch make her porn squirt. with you. Fuck this. <laughs> Oh, no. It's piss. It's, I know it's piss, but that's the first VR porn. Is how to I make it. I wanted to see how it was VR though. Video? How's that VR there? There was just a guy jerking off a lady. Well, that's the preview. You can't see it's VR unless you have goggles. No, on. No, but like go go back. I want to see. I'm not going to that. Hold on. Disgusting. Open. Close no. Tab. No. What do you want to see? I want to stop pounding the table. Like I want to know like what in. you're looking like. They'll show you like a preview of like what it would look like if you were wearing the goggles. Just hit reopen closed tab. What? Stop. 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 <laughs> stop. <laughs> fucking stop. Here, just right click. I am doing it. At the top. No, right click. Oh, you fucked me up. Okay. I was going to click somewhere Reopen else. Reopen close tab. I feel like I'm always teaching grandpa how his computer works every time I come over. I here. don't want to watch this disgusting stuff. You don't have to. I just want to see real quick what it looks like through the goggles. Well, they don't have that. Scroll down. What is this fucking clown He's doing? the guy who makes it. He's like the Asian guy who makes it. This looks like a guy I used to go to a, a goth clubs with. Yeah? Yeah, he was a cool guy. Was Cynthia Darkblood there? She goes to the goth clubs, too. I wonder if it's him. Oh, shit. His name's Kenneth Play? Does that sound That's like a guy a you knew? That's probably a fake name, though. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of Asian guys who shave the sides of their head look Hi, similar. I'm Kenneth Play. My hunch is someone you trust mentioned Why do you use name? a comma instead of an apostrophe? This site's fucked. A orgasm Myths Guide to Eat Multiple- pussy like a pro, Eat pussy man, like a pro. Sick. Don't promote this sort of degenerate <laughs> shit. I just want. I don't, I mean, this is worse than the horse cock stuff. At least if it's I VR. showed porn folder and it was like eating pussy, I'd be yeah. like, "Oh no!" <laughs> horse cock lollies. I'd be like, "Ah, whatever. I don't give a shit." I'm gonna say they're both bad in different ways. Why can't these guys just go? Who cares? Fuck off. So I guess uh, you know what? Honestly, vote this problem up because as we've discovered, uh, there's still a lack of good VR porn because this is not it. This is not what we want. Single guys, experienced guys who think they're good but have no way of knowing. So that he they teaches really like are. this is like an intimacy course he sells. It's like how uh, to make women happy. Stop giving a shit. Once you fucked her, it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter if you're good. It's too late for her. <laughs> Why are you giving she, these tips away for free? You could be charging 100 bucks a month for this. Join the <laughs> Mac Club. I don't want. I don't. Want, I really am like Jesus. <laughs> you in are so like many Jesus. ways. Giving it away to the lepers. Dick, how do I make my woman happy? She won't Some be. Some mistake. So just give up on be. it. Yeah. Get what you can she out of that. Wants you to mess with her. Well, guys. Uh, what do you call it? VR. Is that it? Yeah. Bad VR porn is currently. On our list at fucking Christ, uh, 119 upvotes. Currently number 409. Celebrity bands currently number 414. Both very low on the list. I urge you. Is this is this to a bit's vote taking it up? I got it's like been an hour today. already. It's taking forever. I went to the website today and it really fucking bothers me that Vito's number one. Go vote it up. Rob, fuck your head to death. Vote it, it is. Up. Like an hour into the show, <laughs> people like the bits. Yeah, I don't like. You know, I don't tell you your snappy. stupid pirate shit is going on too long. You'll spend about half an hour on that, I'm sure. Because then you wouldn't get the toy. It would be over. There would be no. <laughs> yeah, try I know. it. I have to let you dance and play your music <laughs> and try dress it. up that in your be, costume. That this bit would be turning around and going home. Vito There'd has be a no bit. weighing and no toy. Vito has a bit, <laughs> and we gotta we gotta time it. We gotta make sure it's quick and snappy. I let it go as long as you wanted. Yeah, and then you complain about it, but you're gonna dress up like a pirate and dance around for an hour, and I just have to sit here and take it, right? It it wouldn't take an hour if you just get up and get on the scale right away, but you spit hum and haw about it. Well, you're the big winner. Try to negotiate. All right. With. You're the big winner. Uh, throwing your back out. Oh, oh, man. Problem over. I can't oh, argue with that one. God. I got so fucked up Super Bowl weekend. How'd you, you know. throw out your back? 
ironically, I decided to get sober. Right. On Monday, start, you know, dial it down, dial it back. Mm -hmm. All right, I got to go. I got to get sober for a couple days, right? I'm going to be healthy, work out, you know, go on to do some exercising, fucking exercise, bench press. I've done 10 million bench times pressing. in my life. Okay. I do it and I feel, I think, oh no. Oh, I feel like a mouse in the middle on my spine and the lower my lower back. After I spent, I spent like twenty minutes explaining to someone at the party. Yeah, some back exercises because I used to have a lot of back problems. Oh, shit. <laughs> and that as soon as I do, you stretch felt a bunch it. before you get on the bench or no? Stretching's bad. Really? Yeah, you want to be nice and tight. Uh, what? You want to be nice that and tight? That doesn't sound correct at all. What do you mean? What do you want to be? I mean, clearly it didn't work in this situation. A parachute, nice and tight. When okay. you want a floppy parachute, it would be all kinds of problems for you. <laughs> but hey, but you throw your back. It sounds like you're supposed to stretch. This is the for worst you. problem throwing out your back is yeah. people giving you all this goddamn advice. I'm not giving you advice. I'm asking you for it. if you did. You're implying that I should have been doing it. Well, I would imagine it would help. It doesn't. Nothing helps. All right, old man Masterson, do whatever feels right. Or you can do what I do. Nothing feels good now. Nothing, exactly. Well, now I realize how little I care about anything. Is your you back still fucked? So the Super Bowl was last weekend. You've had a week. It's fucked. Is It's even more fucked now. Yeah. You weren't limping uh, when I came through, though. I was putting on a brave face. Okay. Hobbling around. Yeah. Walking the dog like, ugh. And then as, I'm thinking, oh, what if a hot girl that wanted to bang me sees me like this? Ugh. Just going to yeah. go, nope, turn around. Oh, yeah. well, maybe you could use Kenneth play as uh, tips, and then I'm just gonna go to VR. Fingers, yeah. My back is limber. VR. I do jumping jacks and shit. Well, I of course had my big back incident that involved me having to use a mobility scooter around Disney World. A fan saw me and thank God did not take a picture. What a fucking failure! That's the <laughs> that's the biggest missed opportunity. <laughs> In my broadcasting career, is that guy? <laughs> that guy, I'm so. Good. That's the. I, every day I wake up and I go, "Hey, isn't it great that guy oh. didn't think to take a picture of me on that mobility scooter?" Because I would never live that down. It would be on T-shirts. It would be. It would be on billboards. It was <laughs> and you probably have some dumb look on your face, like, "Hey, Vito." <laughs> Dude, oh, I'm sure no. I look It'd be like, a live photo because yeah. he's using Apple, not dog shit <laughs> Android. Oh, oh, oh. I I know I looked pathetic because I felt pathetic all day. I was like, I couldn't get off that thing for more than five. I couldn't stand in the line for the rides. My bag was hurting so bad. I feel sick. I feel like I'm going to throw up constantly. Yeah. It fucking hurts so bad. I did finally find my, uh, my Disney footage, though. I have to edit that. What? Oh, I built a lightsaber at Disney, and that was fun. Huh. What did you... What? What's that? They have an experience where you can build your own lightsaber in a special Star Wars land. Shut the fuck up. And, uh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm laughing at joy because uh, I'm so happy that such a thing exists. So I'll go in. I figured I have a Star Wars channel. I should do it. But then I just never edited the footage. And You have to pick what color lightsaber you want. What color did you pick? I went with red. Why? I wanted to make a... Because they have four different lightsaber types. Red, green, and black eye. Is that <laughs> there's red, green, purple, yeah, and I think yellow. Who has yellow? I don't know. I think mm. doesn't Ahsoka have yellow? Then the, the who's that? The one from the show, the one with the Rosaria Dals Dawson. Oh, I think she has yellow. Well, you get four different colors uh, of. Oh, uh, you did it to because you owed it to the fans. You made a lightsaber. <laughs> well, yeah, I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't going to film it. Honestly, how much I do you think a lightsaber? How much do you think it costs to make a lightsaber? Uh, two hundred eighty dollars. It was two hundred bucks. <laughs> Just fucking insane. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah, only well, yeah twelve dollars would have been you know twelve dollars would be reasonable. I would absolutely do it for twelve bucks. Is There's, it heavy? Does it have like lead in it so it feels it's, heavy? It's metal. The hilt is like a bunch of metal. You so you you pick a color blade, uh, which comes from a crystal. You pick a crystal color, and they have four different sets of parts. So you can get imperial parts, rebel parts. Like old timey tree people parts, like your can you get like gummy bears wood. stuff on it. No, there's no gummy bears <laughs> parts. Okay, so you pick, and then I pick the imperial set of parts. So they're all like you know black metal and like industrial steel. So that's kind of cool. What Star Wars stuff looks cool. I'm not gonna say it doesn't look cool. No, 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 that doesn't look cool. 
Yeah, shut up. All the Star Wars like fucking uh, set design and the no, you know what I mechanical do? Mechanical design. That's all cool. I have my like entertainment console upstairs, yeah. and sometimes people come over, and I'll go like, "And look, here's where I don't have a Star Wars lightsaber. Isn't that cool?" And he'll go like, "Yeah, that is that's pretty cool. I, I never also thought of it just like ha- that. it's in the closet. I don't like display the fucking thing. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I'm not because I'm not that big a Star Wars guy, honestly. Really? Really? Um. All right. Well. I'm gonna join the mobile scooter. Well, if you throw out your back, we can go to the st- and we can go to Disney and we can make a uh, lightsaber. I'm not going to Disneyland. I'll go down to the super. You game don't go to store. Disneyland. I I despise Disneyland. Why? Um, well, I hate everyone who goes there, and sure. I hate what it stands for. I hate all. What does of, it stand for in your mind? Uh, prolonged uh, childhood into yeah. into adulthood. But it doesn't have to be that. You don't have. It to. is though. It is for most of the weirdo Disney adults who go there. Yeah, and I think all their movies are uh, uh, the message. I think they're very well made, but the message is, uh, I think, uh, uh, cancer. All Disney movies, like even like the old ones, not Hercules. Hercules is good. Um, Mulan's maybe good. But wait, did you tell Mulan. me you haven't seen Mulan? Not watching it. How have you not seen Mulan? That's fucking weird. I mean, what do you mean? It's a movie about a, a girl. It's about it's the, there's it a bunch joins of, the army. Why the fuck would I want to see that? It's about it's like a lot of guy stuff too. It's like guys. They dress up like girls. They dress up like girls okay. to fuck around and get into the castle. <laughs> Mulan's a good movie. I, if you I'll like, go watch Monty Python. If you like Hercules, you would like Mulan. Danny DeVito though. That was before he was in Always Sunny. Now it's even better. I'm trying to remember if there's any people you would like in. Oh, she's uh, so like schmaltzy and shitty. Stop hammering the table, could you? I need to please? emphasize what I'm well, saying. Well, stop pounding on it. It's connected to the fucking microphones. What's the black guy who plays the dragon? Why can't I not remember? Eddie Murphy. You like him? Yeah, but I, he he's was playing like, a dragon. He's being kind of like racist. But he's like doing Aladdin. He's like trying to be Robin Williams. <laughs> like, yeah, I he's got not it. Doing All Robin right, Williams. you're just like he's going really Murphy. out of control, breaking the. I got it. Pass. Everybody in the chat tell Dick he needs to see Mulan because, uh, come on. I actually hate Disney. All of these guys shitting on it yeah. love it, and they want to, like, fix it. They but do, you hate, make a do you, hate, you hate current Disney? Uh, do you hate, like, what Walt Disney was trying to do? Because he was actually kind I like of Steve a cool Willie. I like Donald Duck when he fucks people up. Sure. That was uh, early Disney. Makes kids smoke cigars. That's cool. Walt Disney seemed like a pretty cool guy who died too young. Yeah, he had a lot of... Uh, Cool ideas. He did have cool ideas. Epcot was a cool idea. Do you uh, know what, what Epcot was originally? Uh, wasn't it? A, a it was a living con- community. Oh, it was the uh, experimental experimental prototype community of tomorrow. No, it was literally. No, I hate that shit. I was, hate that shit. Where they're like <laughs> making a big acronym. <laughs> It's it like, wasn't a okay, big acronym. Yeah, it real was fun, very real reasonable. cute that you did that. It's seasonal affective disorder. It's called stop. <laughs> okay, I'm That's sorry. Enough. I got it. Acronym. I got it. Real fucking cute. But he was like, well, sad. He was like, well, why don't all our cities just be like a big circle, and all the furnaces will feed into one central burner, and all the houses will be interconnected? And that's what he was trying to build, and then he died, and they just made it into a theme park instead. That's like retarded, though. It's not retarded. It's interesting. Uh, okay. And then he made the Carousel of Progress. You ever go on that? Nah. Carousel of Progress is the one where it's like, what's the future going to be like? And here's what the past used to be like. Mm-hmm. That's one of the few Disney rides where a, a cast member died, got crushed on the rotating stage between a wall, just slowly crushed her to death. Yeah. I like that part of Disney, the weird hidden death stuff. Uh, Well, that's my problem, throwing your back out. I don't know. I'm going to make you. We should it's go to real Di- emasculating. Let's go to Disney and we'll film it for the show. I, no, I don't want. Biggest problem in Disney. We'll go to Disneyland. I don't want to do like a, hey, look at me. I'm at a thing content. I don't like that. I don't, do you? Yeah. Do you funny. watch that shit? Yeah. Well, no, uh, I don't watch it, but I make it. it. Mm. But if we went. It's so crappy, though. It's not a crappy. It's funny when comedians do it. It's funny when I do it. I, I think it's it's people who really like are impressed with themselves and think it's like a treat for other people to hang out with them. That's what I get out of those things. That's what this show is, Dick. No, this show is directed. <laughs> it's show in a it's in a basement. It's a parasocial relationship between us and a bunch of people. Yeah. I go. I just want to go hang out with my friends, Dick and Vito. And today we're gonna hang out at Disneyland. No, then you're like all on. We don't have to be on. It's fun to go and go. Hey, that's shitty. 
or whatever, you know. And like, I don't even want to say that. I just want to be totally silent. They got a uh, they got the Indiana Jones experience. You like that? No, he looks like uh, the pharmacist from Grace Under Fire <laughs> on that ride. Get a dole looks whip. Crappy. And get a ride the Guardian the Guardians of the Galaxy of their tower, tower ride now. I guess. You should go to Epcot. You can drink at Epcot. Well, yeah, you can drink at all the Disney parks, right? Uh, I don't know. You can do acid at all of them. I know California that. Adventure, I think you can drink. Oh, yeah. You got to go to Napa Valley or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's my problem. All Turn right. your back out. You're, we're, you're very weak. It will make you throw your back out and you realize how little any of the other problems matter. And it's a real reminder to focus on yourself and your own needs, mm. even when you feel good. And then when you're lying down, your back hurts. You're thinking about great places we could take the show, which we should. Uh, my problem, Dick, is assisted suicide haters. Oh. A 28-year-old Dutch woman was euthanized on January 27th after years of suffering with myalgic encephalitis, also known as chronic fatigue syndrome. Yeah. Uh, the woman, known as Lauren Hove, also had autism, anxiety, hmm. and ADHD. Chose- she wasn't trans? Mm, surprisingly not. autism and no trans. That's odd. I think if she'd kept going, she would have had a trans period. Thank God we got rid of her. Well, (laughs) Uh, after being placed on a waiting list due to COVID-19, man, you can't even kill yourself because of COVID. You got to wait to kill yourself. Can you believe it? Uh, She was uh, approved by several doctors and uh, did kill herself. Even tweeted out beforehand, there was a farewell live stream. This has made a number of people- Farewell live stream? Yeah, she did a live stream. She said, hey guys, you know- Did you say the N-word? Yeah, I think Twitch gave her a pass for the day. They said, That's gonna be my last word. You're gonna kill yourself. (laughs) (laughs) He's going, everybody get in here. Oh, who am I kidding? There's nobody here to see you die. Hey, you, tell them them my last word, even though all my fans are dead. And you have to tell it to them. You have to say it on the air. Uh, This has raised, obviously, a lot of hubbub over the topic of assisted suicide. I've seen a lot of commentators, including guys like Matt Walsh, saying this is the slippery slope towards all our- people killing themselves. Yeah. (laughs) 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 Which has never happened before in the history of the world. Guys, let's be real. I think we've talked about it on this show. If people want to kill themselves, and, you know, they're not crazy- I don't like how you, why? What do you mean? What That part is what bugs me. You always say that. Okay, well, if they're crazy, they can do it themselves. I the definitely idea, want them to okay, but kill a, themselves if, if they're crazy. If a doctor, like the doctor, I think, is in an ethical quandary if somebody's not in, you know. Why? Because you have to be able to make decisions for yourself. <laughs> you have to You have to understand the Aren't choice you? you're making. <laughs> why? That's the rule. That's the <laughs> ethical rule for doctors. How crazy do you have to be? A doctor you go in there and say, "Hey, I want to kill myself." The doctor like, oh, has man, to make you sure. Nuts? Okay, but like, what if like a little retarded kid comes to you and goes, "I want to die." All right. You go while well, you got to figure it out on your own. Understand. You're too retarded. Yeah, for me you're to too do retarded it. for me to do it. You got to do it yourself. So you're saying a woman cannot get any medical care? Because <laughs> <laughs> she's too stupid to understand. Yeah, none it. of them understand anything. Yeah, so we'll make an what? exception for women. Okay. How's that? Uh, guys, the whole point of well, no one who's sane would want to kill themselves. So how what are you, you going to get about ma- a sane person can want to kill themselves? Not really. You think it's insane to want to kill yourself? Yeah, and the person who has that shit is dealing with pain their whole life is definitely insane. Pain, chronic pain, is making you makes insane. you crazy. So you, sh- uh, no doctor can morally let you. C- I think kill that's you. a stretch. I think you can be in pain and you can make a logical and sound and rational decision to say I do not want to suffer this pain any longer. <laughs> I mean, doesn't mean you're crazy. You're the one drawing lines in the sand and saying this is moral. This is not right, moral. Fine. So you're pushing it a little harder than I am. I don't know what the argument is. It sounds like we're both just in, jump off a bridge. We're both in that's favor the... of it. You just want like anyone can do it because you wanted like time. people to see you as a good person still. No, like... I'm just being reasonable. I'm being rational and so saying... retarded people can't figure out how to jump off a fucking bridge. Okay. Well, they can't figure out a lot of stuff, so they might have trouble with that, genuinely. You know, they're going to pick, like, a really low bridge, because it's look, not going to work. No, seriously, this is why. Because then okay. a crazy person's going to go, well, I'm going to buy a gun. Mm-hmm. And they're going to go, well, we're not going to sell you a gun because you might kill yourself with it. And right. then they're going to say, and actually, everybody, we're going to need you to do a background check before you can buy a gun. And that affects kill me. Yourself. Okay. So I, that's how the liberal fucking rot works. Okay, but you bring up a good point. Like, you know, should children be allowed to kill themselves? Required. No. See, that's, you're not going <laughs> to, it has to be some common sense What do you mean allowed? 
Well, I'm saying, like, with the help of a doctor, if an eight-year-old goes to a doctor mm. and he goes, uh, Billy was mean to me on the playground, and I want you to put a bullet between my eyes. What do you mean, help? Like, the doctor does it in a way that is the least painful way that no, it No, that's illegal. Done. That's murder. Okay. So how, yeah. how, so what do you, what do you want? You're saying you want it f- well, the for legal c- for the kid to kill? Well, the doctor you if shit. They can in this situation with this lady. Yeah, that's fucked. Why is that fucked? <laughs> so the uh, doctor's got to make this? The it's problem like the pussy is way out. assisted suicide. It's not suicide. Okay, I'm against that then. You're against assisted suicide. Well, yeah, because you should be able to. Pussy. You should be able to order uh, a suicide off, kit. Yeah, off Amazon. Sure. It's like, I'm going to order a drum of heroin. I'm like, all right, well, it doesn't matter to me what you do with it, right? Right. But going to a doctor, like, hey, will you kill me? And the doctor's like, Ugh, now I got to, like, think about this shit? I'm <laughs> over here trying to make a buck, and I got to deal with your bullshit? <laughs> Fuck deal with this. your bullshit. He wants to relieve their pain, is the, which is the uh, job of a doctor. That's a terrible I mean, the argument. job of a doctor is writing prescriptions. Well, for here's opioids. the deal: is that medicine is supposed to alleviate the suffering that a patient undergoes, right? But the problem with a uh, patient who's suffering from, say, chronic pain, is that the medicine is actually making it worse by prolonging the amount of time they will experience the pain. You're actually causing harm to the patient by keeping them alive. What? You like what do you think mean? about it: a short amount of pain compared to a long amount of pain, which is better? It's impossible to say. I have both. <laughs> well, the Constantly. argument would be... I have a short amount of pain all the time. Sure. So what's... Well, there's also the problem of cost, Dick. But don't you think that, like, these people with cancer and whatever are just making a huge... Like, they're just being such a pain in the ass by not just jumping off a bridge and making us do all this, Jumping like, off a bridge is probably really painful, and people survive that Oh, sometimes. who gives a fuck? Then we don't have to always talk about this, like, whoa, medical assistance. Like, can you just, like... Can you just go, like, just go to the... Ca- take Buy a car and go in a garage and kill yourself? <laughs> like... Fuck, man. Why do you guys always need so much attention? Are you dying by not enough attention? Here you go. You got it. We're having a big national conversation now, thanks to you. And you're dead, so what do you care? But we're just still talking about it all the time. Isn't it better if you can tell your family ahead of time, this is the day it's going to happen. You have time to, you know, make your peace with me. I thought I was going else. to my friend's birthday party that day. I guess I'm going to go to your suicide. Well, instead Thanks you got to sneak lot. away and throw yourself in front of a train, and then nobody knows it's coming. It's this big shocking thing. That's better. That's honorable. <laughs> okay. Well. This shit is attention-seeking. It's like a wedding. I think just people trust their doctor, and they want it to be a medical procedure. Uh, the cost of maintaining a person who is dying can range from uh, 2000 to $10,000 a month. Uh, and many people do not want to leave their families with crippling well, debt. Well, thanks to liberal voting, it, that's a different problem. Okay, the liberal voting isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It costs jack shit. Okay, so this is a way yeah. people don't want to prolong their suffering and bankrupt their families. Well, here's something I found interesting, Dick. Of course, you know the Hippocratic Oath for yeah. doctors do no harm. Yeah, a lot of people will use that as an argument against assisted suicide because you're yeah, because it's true. Someone. They're killing someone. But here's the thing: it's murder. Uh, at least in uh, many countries, they no longer uh, use the Hippocratic Oath. It's no longer considered relevant because, for instance, chemotherapy is a form of treatment where you're literally poisoning the person to kill the cancer. Oh, oh fuck off. So, so is weightlifting, har- Vito. Oh, look, I'm hurting myself. I'm hurting myself to make myself better. So saying, suicide not, is okay. It's Medical not an suicide. argument. You know, you can't say the Hippocratic Oath is the highest good because occasionally you do have to uh, harm people to achieve. Well, you don't have to shoot them in the head. That's not. Well. That's against the Hippocratic that's, Oath. That's different. But if you can alleviate their suffering, I just think... Uh, look, if people are suffering, they should be able to end their lives. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, some well, they can. Of, hopefully, some of them have houses that re-enter the housing market, which would be nice for all of us. Yeah. As well as saying, they're getting bought up by BlackRock, though. Well, that's what You're I. Not gonna get that. <laughs> yeah, I know. We gotta stop that. That's a separate problem. Oh. But uh, if you're do- if you're doing a suicide and your death was about attention seeking like this and not somehow improving the financial situation of the country, okay. then uh, who cares? Well, I have said that uh, I think we need to instill in people, if you know you're dying, you know, there's obviously some people out there who have done bad things, and you're in a position, you have nothing to lose. 
have a little fun with it. See what happens. That would be my advice. That's approaching the line. <laughs> that's approaching the line. That's approaching the line of YouTube. Egg their car. How's that? Yeah. Yeah, that's go. what that's I'm talking better. about. That's better. Egg their house. Um, yeah. I don't know why we're always... I don't know why this is like a... Well, suicide's illegal. Yeah, kind of. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it a crime? <sighs> well, it's not a crime. I don't know. It's like is it a crime? Yeah, look is it up. I should have looked that up. I think it's more, it's not a crime, but you'll get yourself committed if you, you know, survive it. It's like you're considered mentally. Uh, you are. They're not going to lock you in prison for trying to kill yourself, though. Uh, they should probably uh, maybe just text you a little bit. Who? The government? Somebody. Somebody. Maybe they could yeah. do like a matchmaking thing and just give your suit. I don't think it's actually illegal attempt. to try and kill yourself. Is it? Suicide is listed as a crime. In their suicide criminal Suicide is a statutes. crime in some parts of the world. Some parts of the world. Suicide not in America. In America, I thought it was. But suicide is oh, it's no of, longer considered a crime. Oh wait, considered? No longer. Some considered states a crime have in the attempted states. attempted suicide listed as a crime in their statutes, but they don't prosecute. It's like one of those uh, ones yeah. that's been on the books since like blue law times. Because what People are you gonna are, do? Now you gotta go to jail. You're definitely not gonna try and kill yourself in there, idiot. Uh, that sounds like what the government would do. Yeah. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> Think, what do you mean? That's, I think it's one of those things where <laughs> that it's just as ridiculous that that's for any other crime. Uh, I think it's mostly. I, I don't know if there's any statutes still left on the books because it would be uh, defeating. People are so freaked out by it. Yeah, it's, they get uh, real angry about it. They're real angry about the Canada suicide thing, and they also love it. They're also titillated that they can express um, malevolent rage and violence in like a government sanctioned yeah. way. Very bizarre. I wonder why it upsets people so much. I mean, I'll. I, the only thing I can say is I can understand the idea that you're afraid the government is going to go to you know elderly people and poor people and go, hey, if you kill yourself, we'll give your kid five hundred bucks. No one's afraid of that. Literally, no one on earth does not think... want elderly people and homeless people to kill themselves. Or like you know, bucks. like uh, what do you call it? mentally disabled people or something? <laughs> no one. Have you met a person? Well, you and I are different from most. A lot of people claim that they don't want old people They're to kill worse. themselves. Regular people are worse than us. <laughs> yeah, I think so sometimes. I mean, there's some stuff. But, yeah, I, I, some of the things people believe I think are crazy. Uh, I think they're jealous. They're jealous of uh, death. They see it, and it makes them angry. I like, mean, well, I'm, not, I'm not dead. I want to be dead. Are all your grandparents dead? Yeah. Okay. Did you ever talk to him, like, you know, a couple years before they... Like, my grandfather outlived all his friends. Yeah. So I'd talk to him, and I'd be like, so what's been going on? And he'd just be like, well, everyone, all my friends are dead. So nothing. He's like, I used to play cards, you know, down at the veterans' home or whatever. Can't do that, because they're all dead. I used to hang out with this guy, he's dead. He's like, I got nothing left. Can't go to Friday Night Magic Can't go to like F&M, that? play a what's little... Deal? I wish I was at F&M right now. We're gonna move this show so I can play stand. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a <laughs> bell, like a desk right. hop bell right there. Why don't you put so the scale every time there? So every it, time goes, I hit it, I'm ding, weighing myself. Ding. I'm gonna ding this every time you hit the desk now. Standard's finally getting exciting again. I wish I was playing magic. Um, be better than this. What was show. your question about grandpa? Talking to grandpas about just saying like if you're talking to an old person, you're like, I can understand why they want to die. It's like they got. What are they gonna do? It sucks. What about me? What about you? I have a worse than them. Yeah, you got a girlfriend. Exactly. She's just (sighs) nagging. At least old guys, you know, they might wake up one day. She's gone. Me, I got forty years or whatever. (laughs) You know what? I should not bring in death problems on this show because you have no like your perspective is yeah everyone should be dead. We already are good. The sooner you accept it, the better. Why don't we go to Palestine to see what happens? Because your buddies are not <laughs> bombing the shit out of it. That's why. Did you see the tweet I reposted where someone's like, look at this Hamas leader hiding like a coward in these tunnels as his people get bombed? And I'm like, pretty sure if I was a Hamas guy and you were bombing the city, I'd probably also hide in the tunnel. I don't consider that cowardly on any level. I don't know why. I think that's just Why logical. do you think you're owning the leader of Hamas by calling him a coward? Like, what do you think? He's Marty McFly? He's going to be down in the t- tunnels and go, what the fuck did this guy? That's it. Get I'm out going here. out there. La, 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 la. I'm going out there. And then the, the war's over. Are. And then Israel doesn't need any more war money. Okay. Yeah. I'm, sh- I'm sure once we wipe out Hamas, oh, I get Israel's just done needing money. Sure. That makes a lot of fucking sense. You know what the problem is? This goddamn Hamas. That's why they need money. You know what? I kind of want. It was to... way different when the PL when Ira Arafat was around. The PLO was in charge. 
I should I should use that as my problem? It's the old thing where it's like, oh, those those cowards on 9-11. I'm like, I don't know, man. Cowards? I'm like, I would never hijack a plane and crash into something. I'd That's freak like, out and miss. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, oh no, fuck! Shit. No, man! Shit, I missed it! Shit, I missed it! I missed it! Go around! Go around! Go around! <laughs> we don't have time to go around! Oh, no, 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 let me do it! Let me do it! No, I said I was going to do it! Some comedian got canceled for that way back in the Bush era. I forget who. For doing what? For, for saying, missing. For saying, I don't think those guys are cowards. That takes a lot of fucking balls. How could they hide in the tunnels? What, do you want to just stand and get bombed? They're not, they're not retarded. <sighs> so, so stupid. <laughs> everybody's, uh, everybody's got and you an want, opinion. And you want somebody who tweeted that to have to go to a doctor to get approved to kill themselves? <laughs> That's nuts, man. Look, you, you got to think about Just your kill actions. yourself regularly if you want to. I'm saying if you want a doctor's help, like this young lady clearly did. That should be, I don't want that. She I don't want so, doctors getting bothered she with She had so shit. much ADHD, she couldn't focus on you know, putting the gun to her head. Well, then that's she too tried. bad, man. She was like, oh, man, what was I doing? I should go play Neopets There's somebody something. in the waiting room waiting to see that doctor. He's in there like, well, you know, let me help you kill yourself because it's so fucking complicated. And I'm like, <laughs> it's a well, little bit complicated. I kind of have to get to a meeting. Why is this bitch taking so long in here? Killing yourself is more complicated than you're making <laughs> it sound. <laughs> what if you miss? I got more bullets. Then you got to be that guy. I think God, I then you got to be that guy tail. on Doctor Phil who blew the front of his face I'm off. I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to do it again. <laughs> and goes, well, now oh, I've, wow, I'm in the hospital. I've rediscovered my lust for life. Now that I have a pig face sewn on to replace the one I shot off. <laughs> Love those guys. Uh, it's your problem, by the way. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, breaking a big chip off in the dip. Yeah. Oh man, you get a nice big chip, right? Yeah. And you stick it in the dip. Right. Oh, man. It's so hard to get big chips these days. <laughs> it's like the grapes of wrath out there, Vito. You're, tell me I'm right. It used to be, used to be. I don't know. It used to be a, uh, it used to be a pile of big chips, but now you open a brand new chip you bag and there's chips like the are shards s- mostly. You think? They're skimping on them somehow. Somehow it's I getting fucked up. I have not been analyzing the size. I the have. I've been analyzing the chip, chip. standard. And they're getting smaller somehow. It's so so hard you pull out a big one big and it keeps coming. You're like, whoa, here we go. <laughs> and you stick it in the dip and you're like, man, the structural integrity of this chip is not going to hold, hold up. But you think, I'm going to, re- I don't want to get this. Well, this sounds dip like on your my... problem is being reckless with the big chip. You're saying you knew the structural integrity of the chip would well, not stand sus- up to the dip you and you went for it, it greedily? You suspect it, of course. You suspect it. But you don't want to mess up your flow. Okay. Obviously, you don't know anything about that. Dip flow. And you don't want to get dip on your fingers. So you're like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. And you push a little bit. And you're like, ah, push a little bit what more. What kind of dip are we ah. talking here? Any kind of, any kind, this could no, happen no, any no, kind no, of dip. No, 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 Cheese, no. it could be queso dip. Different tips have different uh, viscosities, okay? Well, uh, French onion, ruffles and French, French onion. French onion's a tough dip. all the fucking time. So you're, you end up with a just a dip. bowl of mostly ruffles that are a gooey ruffle. Sure. Uh, an oatmeal of ruffles and You can French stir it up, dip. though. You can get it's little... disgusting. You're going at it unstirred, like the just all the, the stuff is risen to the top? I go at it from the jar. Mm. So I go, I try to make my fingers like little pincers. They go do in French like onion that. in a jar? What is that, the Tostitos? Yeah, it's Tostitos. You know it. You, you don't have to ask. You know it. They don't it's do a Tostitos. French onion in a jar, though. Yeah, they do. What are you talking about? French onion's a sour cream based dip that comes in a French plastic container. Onion Tostito. jar dip. Tell me I don't know fucking French oh, onion. Oh, that's I've like been... that's not real French onion dip. That's oh, like what the fuck? What is the ingredients? What does it say right on what it? What are the ingredients on? What are this? you talking about? What are you eating then with plastic? Like like the one that comes like that's actual like sour cream. What is this? Sour cream. Why do you think it's not sour that's cream? It's not sour cream. Sour you gotta cream doesn't go in it a after jar. you open it. Open it. I don't think that's sour right cream. Right the ru- there with the ruffles. Right no, like that I was said. Ta- okay, yeah, it's with the right, ruffles. Right, why with the ruffles? Right like I said. This is like a ranch. Oh, yeah, you went thing. real fast past the calorie count. <laughs> I don't care about the calorie count. I want to mm-hmm. know the ingredients. I don't even see them mm-hmm. on here. Uh, food, what do you mean ingredients? Food Chemicals. form paste is what it says. You Flavored say, paste. You're eating paste. Congratulations. Sounds like you're, you're criticizing me for my food. Sunflower oil, canola oil. Uh, yes, yeah, so good this stuff. is uh, good stuff. Seed oils. No, good for you. No, 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 no. Why are you eating this? When you said French onion, I'm about dip, to have a fucking connection. When you said fit. French onion, do you know how to make French onion dip? No. You get 
a package of sour cream, like a like a plastic container, and you get a package of onion soup mix, and you just mix them together, and then you have French onion dip. I just get that. No, this is awful. What is this? It's fine. It's supposed to be sour cream. It's not just like soybean. You uh, uh, wait. Are you serious? What do I get? Sour cream. You just get sour cream and a packet of fr- uh, fr- uh, onion soup mix, French onion soup mix, and you just mix them together. Onion soup mix. Yeah, it's like soup. Do you know soup? Why the fuck would I want soup? It's not soup. It's just a powder that makes soup. But you mix it in with the sour cream, and it makes a perfect French a onion powder dip. Powder that makes soup. I brought you. Fu- <laughs> I brought you. Fucking bouillon the other day, remember? Yeah, and yeah, it was yeah, powdered. Yeah. How was it? Uh, it was great. Yeah, so you powdered. Yeah, wait, soup onion, French onion soup mix. Yes, and then you mix that in with sour cream. Just mix that with French a container. Just mix that with a container. Okay, of sour same cream, problem. Same fucking problem. Infinite. The chips are still breaking off. All over the place. Okay. It's a huge problem. I just don't feel bad for you because, like, what is, it's like. I'm, make, I'm eating other kinds of it? salsas. Okay. It's not just that. I'm eating also tomato Sometimes types you're of eating salsas. Garbage. Man, I didn't know that. Now I want that. It's really good. All right. Well. That's how most people, you know, if you look up in, like, how to make a French onion dip, they'll say, yeah, just get a thing of. God, it feels like a fucking ice mix. pick in my back. Your back hurting? Constantly. Uh, Dick, you are. And you know what's the worst part? What's the worst part? Uh, I saw that that big shooting that happened at the at the Chiefs uh, that Taylor Swift's fan yeah. that shot everybody. Yeah, Swifties um, going nuts. Uh, indiscriminate thinking, race. As I'm watching it, I'm thinking, man, if that if I was lucky enough to be in a mass shooting like that, and I could stop them, but my back hurt too much and hindered me, you'd miss would, your moment. It's a blown opportunity. Yeah. Did they? Uh, did those guys? Didn't they, some guys tackle the shooter? Did they get a little? Could have been me. Could have been you. If my back was fucked up. Mm. But then, what if I tackled the guy, mm. and then I got up and said, "And by the way, my back was is fucked up. Is was fucked up you the get his whole, whole time." Estate. No, and men would be impressed by that, yeah. but women. Oh, wouldn't okay. Be, I don't think. I was going to say you could sue him for your back injuries and uh, take whatever uh, you had. No, I look like a bitch. Maybe you get the gun. Oh god, right. that would be great. Do you think they give you his gun? They if you, knock a gun, out if a you tackle shooter, a mass shooter, you get the gun. You get the gun. I hope it's like so. any video game. You beat the boss. <laughs> You get the you get his equipment and yeah, whatever's in an inventory. Got some rings here. That's the law. That's Watch, why they put it in the games. Wallet, take that. Any, take your pants. any jewels that happen to fall out of him take or his penis. Let me get that any thing. coins that are rustling around. You don't get his penis. So that's not part of it. <laughs> you said you get anything you want. I didn't say anything you want. I said equipment on his person. You're gonna I feel make like the you're argument changing the, the rules on right. me. I don't all know, right. uh, Dick. My problem is one that I think we can all agree with. Uh, it's uh, prisoner abuse. This is uh, prison abuse. This is when prisoners are yeah. abused. They're in there. This is a huge problem. It's a huge problem. You know, you've already been forced by the state to be locked up. <sighs> yeah. And they, uh, you know, you're not treated fairly. Uh, this was seen at a prison in South Houston, uh, which banned cell phones. Mm. Uh, the prisoners at the prison, the prison's name is uh, James Madison High School, Walked out in protest of the new procedures, uh, oh. which the independent school district told people are partially the result of recent fights on campus. So because... Wait, wait, wait. Where was cell phones banned? Uh, Prison? J- James Madison High School. Oh, high school. Yeah. Oh, so you're like doing a joke. It's I'm just... A- I'm, I thought cell <laughs> phones were banned in prison. <laughs> no, they're banned in... I was actually They're, talking about prisoner abuse. Well, I, I'm also talking about prisoner abuse. That's the only reason I don't want to go to prison. <laughs> if they weren't getting abused, I'd be like, yeah, sign me up. Sounds well, great. The, we've all been to prison, Dick. That's the point. Cool. Yeah. We've all been okay. to prison. Okay. We were locked up in there. Prisoner abuse. Prisoner you're abuse. talking about school. Mm, okay. Feels like, feels like prison. Uh, again, the idea is that these children were locked up. Because they were locked up in this horrible thing called public school, of course, that yeah. led to fighting, as it would. Emotions are high. Yeah. You're trapped forever. Yeah. And, Hormones uh, going nuts. Mm-hmm. Got all kinds of sexy little girls all around you. You're right. You. It's the worst kind of prison. It's horny teenage prison. Mm-hmm. Anything can happen. Yeah. little fight breaks out. What are you going to do if a fight breaks out? You're going to take out your phone. You're going to get a video of it. You, you have you, to. It's Teacher a, starts losing it's a her mind. money-making opportunity. Oh, oh, oh. You're telling kids not to be entrepreneurs. It's like what? your body cam. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't want to make a couple thousand dollars in ad revenue selling that footage to fucking world star hip hop or whatever. Is that what was happening? 
They were recording too much they stuff. They were recording so they no. too much stuff, so the school took away their phones. Man, I fucking hate schools so much. They got to stop uh, abusing these kids. These kids are in there. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> All right. Uh, the kids are in there. They're trapped. Okay, they're locked in. Yeah. They found a way to cope with the emotional abuse that yeah. you are delivering onto them every day. They yeah. said, thankfully, even though I'm trapped in here like a rat, I have a little window yeah. to the outside world. I have my cell phone yeah. that enables me to remember that outside of this barred, these barred walls, these barred windows. Life there, exists. Life exists. Yeah. There's blue sky. I'm in this concentration there's camp. sunshine. I can look outside, maybe think that someday I'll be saved. I can these yeah. Nazis. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And we take them away. Yeah. There was one hero. Maybe I can go play Fortnite. One heroic uh, child named Brendan Deppa. Yeah. He had a he had an easy way to uh, escape from the prison he was locked in. It's a Nintendo Switch. Oh, that black guy that beat just, that. Tell me. <laughs> That's why I got my channel banned and he would, this video. And he would just play on his Switch, and that was his escape from the drudgery of prison life. Mm -hmm. And a horrible, evil woman. Uh, Montanza's high school teacher's aide, Joan Nadick, uh, stole his Nintendo Switch. Bitch. And Brendan... She's kind of probably going to play with it on OnlyFans. Probably. Or sell it for heroin to give to kids. I don't know what these prison women are doing, these horrible Me wardens. Me either, but they're bad. They're I bad people. That. Brendan fought bravely to reclaim his property from yeah. this woman. Yeah. And he now faces... Uh, he's now set to be tried as an adult... On January 31st, so I guess that's already We should go gone. protest for him. We should. Punishments could rail. Switches in schools. Uh, Nadich, this horrible woman, told the New York Post, Post that she wants this six-foot, 270-pound student. I don't body know why shaming. Body, body shaming. shaming. Body what shaming. She's probably fat as to hell. To face the maximum sentence after uh, shoving her down and striking her unconscious body. I mean, I understand the rage he was feeling. Fuck around, find out. Exactly. Steal my switch. Go ahead and try it. Meanwhile, Depa uh, suffers from severe autism. He has mm. already served months in jail. Uh, and if he gets out of jail, he'll be returned to a different jail anyway. So what the fuck? why not just let him go oh. back? <laughs> I should not do metaphor problems on here. Well, it's huh? just like. <laughs> it's clever. It's clever what I'm doing. Boy. <laughs> You know, no do, one knows what's really happening, though. That's the problem. They'll with get your, it if they pay attention to what is, I'm saying. I feel saying. like I'm reviewing Super Killer again. Oh my god, uh, this is a uh, this is horrible. What they're doing to these kids. And again, look, I was a kid. I remember. Do you remember when? Yeah, uh, you probably weren't in school for this. When Tamagotchis got big, I was in high school. Took my Tamagotchi away. Oh, uh, who did? One of the teachers. Let's free, let's free this guy. Like the A team. Then uh, I got a PSP. I loved that PSP. Took that shit away. Fucking teach took my PSP away. I mean, they had to give it back eventually. I think I got it back at the end of the day, but I was like, what do you give a shit? What do you give a shit? I got a bunch of ROMs on here. What You're not teaching. You didn't make this stuff up. No. You didn't fucking uh, map out the U.S. You're not Sacagawea. You I know? Why the are you so pissed off that I'm not respecting this crap? Who cares? Yeah, why do they? Uh, what, what is it about? Because I got nothing else. You got to listen. Why? 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 Because you're gonna need this. No, you need it because that's all you do all day yeah. is talk about the same shit over. No one else on earth cares about this crap. I don't understand why. They, like, if I was a teacher, I would go. First of all, it's gonna be anti-Semitic for me to say some of this <laughs> stuff that you're teaching me right now in 30 years. Yeah. So where are you gonna be then, teacher? The Bolshevik Revolution was what? Um, I mean, gee, I don't know anymore. I certainly didn't learn that any groups did it in school. Why do you care what the kids are doing? They're not your kids. The problem is it's women. And they feel like yeah, they want respect. They want respect. For, they want little From boys, children. little boys to respect them because they get off on it. More kids if they don't have cell phones uh, in school. More kids will be raped. Yeah. by their teachers. Yeah, especially that's why they're taking them away. They don't want the kids to record the horrible, yeah, rapey things that they do. Honestly, the schools know they've been fucking around. That's probably why they want to take the cell phones around away. Yeah, I saw. All right, take out your cocks. Today we're talking about how. Uh, trans shit's not funny. <laughs> uh oh, get those <laughs> fucking cameras away! I mean, I saw what was it? That libs of TikTok account was like, yeah. What the fuck is this? And it's like an Asian guy wearing like a pink dress walking around the school, and I'm like, yeah, well, you know, cool. I, nothing funny about that. There's nothing funny about that. I definitely don't want all the kids with cell phones taking pictures of that, so we know about this fucked up, stupid shit that's going on. 
or that they put a you saw they put a tampon machine in the all the boys they destroyed bathrooms it. Yeah. and the kids just ripped it off the wall and in a boys bathroom with a tampon machine and they ripped it off the wall and put it in the toilet I'm like what did you think was gonna happen yeah okay <laughs> come on what are you retarded well they're really gonna respect the trans and then he wrote kids. this the principal wrote this big like email yeah. about how he was never been more horrified in his life <laughs> I can't believe it okay how would I know about every time a kid stencils a swastika on a door and we got to fucking think they shut were gonna do that what are you talking it? about you're the most they? offended <laughs> Hey, uh, if I want to make boys go nuts, what do you think I should do? Oh, uh, throw it uh, t- like a tampon machine in the bathroom <laughs> where there's no cameras or anything? That yeah. would be awesome. And tell them that it's for their vaginas and see how they react. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be very pleased with that. Then send a big email to all the parents so everyone knows how <laughs> funny it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Everyone knows I ripped the tampon machine off and I shoved Principal's it in the not toilet. Gonna, he's not going to react to this, right? He's just going to put it. They're just going to put it back up and it'll be over, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. That's why they're taking the cell phones away. They don't want us to know about all the hilarious jokes that are going on. No shit. Yeah. That's true. Well, I'm gonna keep uh, fighting the power, prisoners. I've been there. I served my time, and. <sighs> uh, I, I, in solidarity, brothers, keep those devices. If any woman tries to take them away from you, you have my permission. Don't to, touch me. Yeah. Don't touch me. That's sexual Don't harassment. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Say that and bring a rape it. whistle. Everyone needs to bring a rape whistle to school. <laughs> and if they try to touch your stuff, go. <laughs> I'm being raped. I'm being raped. We can't have public school anymore. There's no way. It doesn't make any sense. Well, it's prison. What do you mean? It's prison. Yeah. We have to stop it. <laughs> How do you? You would never vote for that, though. You and your team would <laughs> never vote to get rid of. My side has been team. trying. I don't to... have a team. I'm not a part of a team. Vito, you're the most teamist. No, team I'm that's... not. <laughs> okay. Just because I didn't vote for Trump, I'm part of a team. Vito's Twitter. Come on with this shit. Vito's Twitter. Why are you so offended Vito by this? You Vito are this guy. Twitter. Look, what did I do? What did I say? Vito's Twitter. This is true. Vito says, it would be really cool if conservatives yeah. could stop simping for Putin. Right. Conservatives, stop simping for Putin. A man who jails political opponents and has them murdered in prison. Shut up. I already know what you're going to say, so just say it. Uh, what, do you, what do you already know? What do you mean? <laughs> This is you're the guy who's not on a team, and you're mad at conservatives yeah. who keep saying that they like Putin and they, they think like Russia's Putin, great. Who's and... not? Who has nothing to do with America? Putin. That's what they say. Yeah, he isn't. Yeah, they say they like him because he's jailing political opponents. No. Why t- do you think Trump is on trial right now? Let me. I just want you to say straight, flat out that this is something. This reflects on you, by the way. What do you believe Trump is on trial for? like a tax thing that's what you think you think trump has been you think they're putting trump they're fast tracking his trial through dc with a an activist judge and they're trying to get it done as quickly as possible for a tax thing they're not gonna murder him i'll tell you that (laughs) what you remember that guy coach red pill they didn't murder who murdered coach red pill biden (laughs) okay sure Fine. <laughs> Coach Red Pill is not Biden's political opponent. I'm sure Biden did not orchestrate the death of Coach Red Pill. Why was Coach Red Pill murdered? Because he went to fucking Ukraine and a bunch of crazy Ukrainians fucked with him. Because Ukrainians fucked with him? Yeah, they put him in prison and they fucked with him. Why'd they do that? Because they're nuts. I, why are they running? The, I mean, they're so nuts. Why are they running the country? <laughs> Someone's got to run the country, man. I don't well, know. So they, they elected somebody to run the country. Yeah, they did a bad. Something happened to that guy, though. He got he got replaced by somebody else. That's you know, not who'd... exactly what happened. Zelensky won fair and square. And, uh, just like Biden. I am just, whatever. You're right. Russia's great. But what is this? What is this simpery for Ru- you, you don't. Uh, what do you mean? What is this? What is your question? You're saying this is a man who jails his this, political opponents. You're saying this is directly analogous to something that is occurring in America right now. Well, it's analogous, except we're Americans, and our president is jailing political opponents. Okay, and one of them is Coach Red Pill. No, uh, one of them is Trump. The okay, political you opponent think is jailing Biden, is Trump and, Ru- and Giuliani. Biden is jailing uh, Trump. How yeah, Giuliani's not going to get. None of them are getting jail. 
uh, what are they? What are they trying to do with Trump? Explain it to me. How's that? Tell, tell what me. Do what do you mean? Explain it. They're trying to throw. They're trying to put him in jail. They're not going to put him in jail. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do with him then? I don't know. Didn't you want to do a traveling show where we're like debating politics? I don't think this is a good okay, traveling okay. show, to be honest. It seems so, like shut you're up, just shut up. Shut it up. seems like you're desperately uncomfortable because you know that you're just a team guy, I'm and not that's why a you're team saying guy. this shit. These are very different situations. Okay. How did this guy try to overthrow the election? Did he say Who, that? Biden? He did. Did he? Say, no, I'm saying did uh did Alexei Navalny? Uh, no, he probably did claim election fraud. That's it probably was. There probably was in Russia, yes. <laughs> oh, in Russia? Well, yeah, Russia, we have, like, evidence of the election fraud. Oh, okay. And we don't I've have any vans or anything here? Or any? What What evidence do you have of election fraud here in America? Can we do a recount? Is there any? Do we, we have a, did no, um, do we have, do a we number have, of recounts. Do we have any, uh, do we have, the like, the machines that we can run tests on? Is there any paper trail or anything like that? Why don't you tell us why you think the machines are faulty? What has led you to believe this? Uh, well, it's a computer. I know. That's not good enough. No, no, it is. All computers are Do vulnerable. you have someone who worked on the computer saying, I believe the computers were... You have to assume computers are insecure, unless you do, like, a forensic analysis on it. Can okay. we do that? So you don't have a single person... Can we do that? If you can bring to me a person who says, I think something's wrong with the computers, and I am in a position... I, I'm an engineer. Of I can say, no, yes, I no. am. Yes, I am. And I'm not I'm, saying you're not an engineer. I'm saying, no, that's not good enough. It has to be someone... Any engineer will say, yeah, there, that's, it could be faulty. Let's see it. Let's see the programming. Okay. Let's see the code. If Let's do there, a forensic audit on the code. If there was an election fraud in America, you would be able to just figure it out very quickly by looking at the code. No, there's other ways. So how, how would you look at? How would you see if a computer is faulty by not looking at the code? Well, your guy, fucking Mike Lindell or whoever it was, can do what he did. How are you not a team guy? This is the most teamest answer it's in not the fucking teamist, history of the world. Okay, it's that you can just say, hey, if you come forward with. Evidence of election fraud, you're gonna get a million dollars. Okay, let's see the let's see the computer that the election was done on. I'll see if there's fraud on it. Can I see it? Can I see the machine that does the voting to tell you if it's if there's fraud on it? I'm sure it's got everybody saved, right? In an in an anonymous way, because that's easy to do. Okay. Let's see it. Can I see it? I think you would can, can, yeah, Yes or it, no? Hasn't it gone to court? Haven't they gone to court? Okay. Bring them to court. Yeah, you know what happened? Yeah, you Dominion lost. Dominion sued him for yeah. hundreds of millions of dollars. Because you didn't have any evidence. Oh, is that why? Yes. They made very baseless claims. Like that, that that's insecure? Computer's insecure. Yeah, that could be considered a baseless claim. You have to tell there's us. No, there's no why universe. Why is it insecure? Because computers are. Okay, all so all can be. So, but, but that, I mean, that, let me take a look so at it. So it's no more insecure than any other computer. They're, in which they're all hacked, yeah. They're what happened all to, hacked. What's happened to Sony? Yes. What happened to PlayStation? Sony, remember that? Okay. Look. You think Sony runs worse computer security than the fucking government? I understand uh, being concerned about potential election fraud. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if it occurred, people would have to be responsible for it, right? There would have to be somebody at some chain, at some level within the chain, saying, "I'm going to orchestrate this election fraud." Right, Biden, or you know, who's ever. Okay. Uh, the entire Democratic Party, yeah. And if Biden orchestrated this, there would pe be people around him who know about it, right? Uh, yeah, all of them. They're bragging about it. They wrote a fucking New York Times piece right, about how not, they fortified the election. Shut up. All right, now we're not doing this. What is... That's They retarded. wrote a giant piece saying, yeah, we locked everybody down. We fucked their accounts over. I we banned their accounts. We're going over this bullshit again. How do you think those I people read are not? A New York Times they article. They bragged about where it. They bragged about stealing the election. You didn't read that article. I did. Did you? Yeah. Okay. What did they do? Uh, they, How did what do they, you mean? Steal they banned it? people. They muted people. They stopped their reach. You just said the problem was the election, the the, the voting machines. So, yeah, but yeah, but you said there. What was in that? There'd article? be people involved. People involved. Okay. Everybody at every level is involved in winning. Mm -hmm. All of them. So the people. How do you think Tom Brady cheats? You think Bill Belichick and Tom Brady like? How do you think that works? Why don't they're winning? You, why don't you just find one guy? If you find one guy, I'll listen to him. You know they're openly bragging about it. Okay. They murdered Which Coach one? Red Pill. Which one? Biden. Fucking Hunter Biden. Biden bragging about giving money to his dad. Hunter Biden making ten million dollars for what? What's he making money for? Why can you not find the one guy who's not bragging? What would he have goes, to say? He would have to say, "I was approached by Joe Biden." to do this, and I felt uncomfortable, so I said no. 
Why would they say that? Why would they not say that? You don't think there is anyone on this earth who, if they were told, will you help to me do subvert fraud. the election, that they wouldn't say they would no love to do on it. a? You think every they single would person salivate? They're they're champing at the bit to defraud people. Yes, they would absolutely I love it. I don't believe that. It's impossible. You're insane. You How would, do you think the mob works? You would need a conspiracy. Yeah, the mob snitches on people. That's why they have to kill guys. So which guy? What happened to Seth Rich? Where's he? <laughs> Seth Rich where's Julian? Wait, where's Julian Assange? Because Julian Assange is in, is he in a, who where died, is he? Wait, where's who Julian Assange? Who died with the election secrets? Where's Julian Assange? Where's he right now? He's in my heart and in my soul. Is that a prison? Is he in prison somewhere? Because that's what Putin does that according to you. That was Bush. Wasn't that Bush? Or is that They're Obama? They're the same fucking people. They're not. Okay, but why is Trump immune to it then? Why is Trump not part of it? Because he's an outsider. He's, yes. He's, he's connected to all these. Outsider. He's connected to Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani wasn't on he's the inside. The only Rudy Giuliani was America's fucking mayor. How is he not part of the system? He was buddies with all he's those fucking mayor. guys. He's a mayor. Oh, what the fuck? A mayor of the biggest fucking uh, city on earth with a population Trump. exceeding Trump. that no of war. many countries. Trump's the only guy. No war. Why is that? This would be. No war. A why? This would be. To steal an election, it would be an enterprise requiring so many people that you couldn't do it. We're, what kind their... of country do you think we live in? We live in a fucking prison. People are not going to just go along with election fraud. Fido, it's illegal to have a too big of a pipe in your house. You don't think that they have total control over everything that we do? I don't. Are you fucking kidding? I can't say the N-word online or everything gone. You would need to involve low-level people who, right. if you told them, hey, did you know there's like a million-dollar bounty out there if you have credible allegations of election fraud? They would go, shit, that sounds a way better. Have you better. never seen the people who are bringing, uh, bringing fraud up saying like, yeah, I was at the post office and they're just, they're just pushing ballots that, are, that, are, uh, that, that did not come in in time. People jump down their throats wow. and threaten their families and shit. That's illegal. You know, I watched the footage of Sandy Hook, and one of the moms who was talking about her kid getting shot. I'm pretty sure so I saw her. So you don't even care about like an actual, of an actual, an actual. No, it's the exact same conspiracy theory. People bullshit. threatening your family, saying, "Oh, you're you're coming forward with evidence. Uh, you know, you're in the community, and we know where you oh, live." Oh, you, you mean you like haven't, you, haven't, you haven't watched? Oh, like, just say you haven't like, watched it. Like Ruby, uh, whatever. Sandy Hook, right? That's the only thing you fucking so like, people so have. So like is the Sandy grandma Hook. who got accused by Giuliani of stealing votes, the 80 year old black woman that Trump said, "Well, she's a known radical so vote stealing." Come forward with something and, and you get sued for three hundred million dollars, and it's like, well, why does anyone come forward? Gee, I really fucking wonder. <laughs> Just admit it. No, because it's not. It's you're completely the teamest correct. Team, you're the teamest guy that there's ever Give been. Give me any legitimate evidence of election fraud. Okay, Biden you won. <laughs> That's not it. He won in. It's because it's computers. They use computers. Yeah. Why do you not have one guy? Why the fuck can't you edit? Why would can't there you not forensically be one Why can't guy? you investigate any of those computers? There should be a hundred guys. Are you guys. fucking crazy that you don't you think had fraud's going on in computers? You hundred people close source? come forward and go, I think the election was stolen. You go, yeah, why do you think that? Because oh, uh, I saw a guy hold a sign and I couldn't see into the election room the right way. So you think oh, he was Biden counting, had a, he was Biden counting had a bigger the ballots than, too than fast. Obama with black people? You think black people turned out more for Biden than Obama. Just say yes. I'm going to help steal the election. Just, just you can't say, you. see, all of you guys, that's that's how you're yes, all fucking I cheaters. No, this is how you're all cheaters. You won't say yes, but you'll lie and imply about it until, and joke about it. All of you. You'll watch evil happen, and you won't say shit about it, because you know saying it makes you look dumb. You know you can't say yes I'll to say that. I'll say it, Yes. I genuinely, you genuinely think, think people turned out for Biden. Black people. black people turned out for Biden, and not Obama. Yes. Okay. I believe that. I think it was easier to vote. That's on you. The, uh, at home ballots. We made uh, the voting process. A they lot all they easier. all sat home and filled it out. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why can't we have a uh, voter ID? Why can't you prove this? You've had four years to prove voter fraud. Uh, you have not lucked into this at all. Yes, I have. You just wait for no. There's so much evidence of fucked stuff that happens, and everybody who brings it out gets hammered by people. You haven't looked into anything. I you just have. keep saying, "Where's the evidence?" Your evidence is that more black people voted for Biden, so that statistically the, the election is impossible. If you can't say, it can't possibly have happened. If you can't say, "Wow, that's weird." Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I don't think it's weird. That's insane. I think people really disliked Trump and were motivated to vote against him. You think black people were more, you think black people hated Trump more than they loved Barack 
Obama. Yes. That's, wow. I think also you had uh, more young people voting. Black people. Yeah, young, more young black people showed up. Sure, that makes sense. We should do a show. That's like uh, going around. Yeah. Well, we can just argue about the election every single place we go. <laughs> at this today, point, it's just like, it's at, just like let's see barbecue. what you'll say that you think. Because it's on you more than it is anything else. I just want else. to see evidence. I want proof. I don't think it would be that hard to find. But you don't want to look into anything also. I've looked into any. You can send me anything. Here's the problem. I go, give me proof. And they go, okay, here's this there's video. proof right here. Here's this video. Here's proof right Shut here. The fuck Your up. guy Shut locks up political up. opponents. There it is. Proof right there. Anytime guy I locks ask up political proof, opponents. you jackasses go, here's this video of an old black lady counting ballots that she took out from under a box. And I go, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. that's been debunked like a thousand times. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's easy to find like stupid shit, but here's the proof that's right here. That's what you and your guys keep sending me. I ask, I am f perfectly willing to look at anything you guys but you're not. Me. I am. You're not. What have I not looked at? You won't even. It's not. It's. You're, what did you're I? What am I missing? The, right here. Would it be okay, really cool? If Russia you're... killed a guy. That's uh, what I'm missing. Jailing political opponents. There you go. This is what I'm missing. This is what we have to deal with with people no, like hold you. On. This jailing is what political you opponents. retards do every time. Is I go. Where's the evidence? Well, in Russia, the, this is when the fucking Kraken came out and said a bunch of voting machines got stolen out retarded. of Mexico or what? Yes, every part of this has been retarded, and you guys keep fucking moving around. What I need to? Oh, but you forgot about this. But you forgot about this. And I go. Well, you've hit me with so much bullshit at this point that you've poisoned that you the don't well. Care. No, but give me something you good. You keep 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 giving me pieces of bullshit. I think your mind is poisoned by like CSI and why Ocean's Trump, Eleven. Why did Trump let the Kraken talk about fucking Mexican or Costa Rican voting machines or whatever the fuck? What he's Lynn the guy. Is. He's the president. He's your guy. Shouldn't I listen to his evidence? Every piece of evidence. Trump's Trump, evidence? Yes. Should I not listen to the, tr the president? That was Lynn Wood's evidence. No. Trump was on Twitter constantly going, Dominion Voting Systems uh, stole 10 million votes. 10 million votes flipped yeah. from Biden to Trump. Dominion's fucked. That didn't happen. Okay, so show me the forensics in the logs and the computers where it ha where it didn't happen. <laughs> where did you get that number from? You you just gave it to me. No, I'm Trump, saying Trump. Where did Trump get it from? Show me in the computers where it did or didn't happen. It's not my job. The bank can. Okay. If I have an overdraft on my bank, I can say show me where that's from. And it's like here you sent it to Spearmint Rhino last night. I say I did do that. Show okay. me the fucking. Show me. The so you have. Why do you not care? You have Why do you suspicions. not care that the computers cannot be audited? They can't be audited. Why do you just not care? Okay. That the fucking voting system can't be audited. Why can you not say that there is a chance that because I cannot audit the uh, system, I am skeptical of the results? Instead, you're saying it is 100 percent factual that, something that fraud happened. happened on computers. Yeah, 100 percent factual. So, but 100 percent, if all fraud was cleared up, who would have won the election? I have no idea. Okay, so it's just up in the air at this point. What the fuck kind of question is that? Can I'm I saying. audit the fucking computers or not? <laughs> Who gives a shit? You you want to know what the outcome is so you can go, ha ha, see, you actually don't know. We and ran then we can move audits. on we from did that. Maricopa County or whatever the fuck, and they went through it and they recounted did every they, vote. Did they audit or they recount it? Did they audit or they recount it? You guys did were, they audit or they recount it? Did they audit or they recount it? Did they audit or they recount it? Did they audit or they recounted it? Which one? Audit, recount. Which one? You can't say. You never admit shit. It's so fucking <laughs> aggravating talking about this stuff because you guys do not fucking care. The only thing you care about is that you win. All right. How's your? How? You, you, the only thing you care about box, is that you win. Guys. Welcome to Dick's. Was it an soapbox. audit or was it a recount? I believe it was an audit. <laughs> oh, okay. Because the other one would be what? Uh. Bullshit. Sure. You win. You're right. Team guy. We stole, Ultimate you're team right. guy. You know what? I stole Ultimate the Ultimate fucking team guy. I stole the election. Ultimate team guy. I'm completely blind. Ultimate team guy. I should just believe that, you know, oh, it was probably stolen. Because computers. Yeah. Com anything could happen on a computer. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Do you not think so? What's your experience with computers? <laughs> Is it better than your experience with <laughs> we, Common Core? I'm trying to end this bit, all right? I'll just give it's it. It's not a I'll, bit. I'm just, all right. You're right. You win. Uh, what? Do you want to dress like a pirate now? No, I don't. <laughs> are you actually upset? What are you talking about? Am I actually upset? I it's like crazy <laughs> dealing with you fuckers. All right. All right, here you go. Here's a fucking idea, voicemail. So the biggest problem in the universe <laughs> is fat guys who are so obsessed with goddamn Disney oh, that wow. they can't let it go. 
Anyway, go fuck yourself. That's uh, true. That's very on point. I don't know if they're all fat, though, but they can't let Disney There's a lot go. of Disney adults that are a problem. All right. My ex-girlfriend keeps trying to get me to get that uh, Disney pass where you can go whenever you want. To Disneyland? Yeah. Do you want that? I don't think I would go enough for it to matter. How much would you go? Two, three times a year. Yeah, it's too much. I've only ever been that one time. Oh, to Disneyland? Yeah. I've been to Disney World when I was a kid. No, but you don't want to drive down there twice a year. Fuck that. Yeah, Anaheim. It's the same th- thing every time. I mean, I get, like, I don't know. They do events or something. I get it, like, for people to get the pass. Ugh. Be a fortune, though. It costs a lot to eat there and everything. And, yeah. yeah. Parking's 40 bucks. You know what's stupid? All right, here's stupid. I go on, like, TikTok. Sometimes I'll be scrolling. They're like, here's my Disney hack. And it's them, like, what food they snuck into Disney to have, like, a <laughs> shitty meal. I'm like, this is... So you got to plan like what food like you're going to prison. Stick. They're like, look, I can make a little pizza. Yeah. Like, I'm like, Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, they're making prison wine at Disney. All right. So I have to fucking totally agree with Dick on this one. Um, mm. I, mean, I normally do, but he does a fucking retard half the time. Thanks. Uh, if I show. get a text message from somebody and it comes out green, Send I it back. immediately just think less of you. I don't care who the fuck you are. <laughs> Like, my father, I love my father. He's the smartest man I know, one of the best men I know, but his texts are green. Uh, so well, you Apple no. guys are retarded. Fucking it's just green is sex. Game, bitch. Fucking Apple, and, you know, that's just top of the line. You can't like, see when you're typing. Yeah, that's right. You can charge it's as like, much doesn't you go, You don't know if it went through or not. A green fucking oh, my message. God. God damn, they don't, though. Are disgusting. Thank you, fuck you, bye. All right, thank you. Thank you. You and your closed ecosystem, you have to trust Big Daddy Apple to tell you what apps you're allowed to use. Well, they can tell us where the messages went, you know. How are you arguing for, we got to open the computer system to see what's going on, but also I want to make sure my Apple device is a lockdown thing and I have no control over it. Apple's on uh, uh, BSD, I think. Unix, some version of Unix. It's the most open source. If Apple ran our elections, would you be happy? Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Let's just do that then. (laughs) Apple voting machines. But we can't because if we had elections where the votes mattered... Liberals would lose all the time. Is this really like a big thing for you? Vote, voter enfranchisement? You might get Trump in this time. Just vote more. More Dude, you guys liberals vote. have totally destroyed the country. It's like it's not destroyed. It's the absolute dregs that vote liberal too. Okay. Uh, all right. What is the last one? Last one. The biggest problem in the universe is. Spitting your drink out all over your steering wheel while Vito unboxes his booty. Ten out of ten bit. <laughs> fuck stupid. you, Vito. Stupid. Fuck you. What are you gonna say? Fuck me. I gate. Oh, I God, made. I love okay. you. I you lose my- I Man. You <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> all right. That's it. <laughs> well, it's, remind me to bring up election fraud every episode. We can spend an hour on that. Every Don't worry. Time. You guys are gonna steal the next one too. I'm sure it'll come up again. Well, what are you gonna do? You just gotta keep cheering for it. Okay. Biggest problem bonus episode, biggest problem in China, now available on patreon.com slash biggest problem and backed up by slash biggest problem. Don't forget to vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. And uh, Dick will be back. I don't know if you find another Canada dry, I'd take one. Uh, Diamond G for two. Thank you for not killing yourselves. Thank you, Diamond. Moon milk for a big 10. Hey, are my super chats working? Because I keep missing the read given work's been nutty. Like enough that a random warehouse flooded, lol. Can I model the Ricky top once mine arrives? Uh, send us, uh, honestly, if you have any Biggest Problem merch that you've bought from the store and you send me a picture of you wearing it, I will uh, potentially add it to the website because I can add images. If you would like to be a model on Industries, get all your Biggest Problem merch, get the Ricky Retardo shirt, I will have the one that says Ricky Retarder for those of you who do not care how you are seen in public. James Gardner for a big 20 says, you're welcome, but I wouldn't kill myself before the show. That would be dumb. Have fun. And thank you, too. Thank you for not killing yourselves, James. Jay Thompson for five. Tell the Danny Masterson prank show story from 68. You said you would tell us later and never did, Vito. Also talk about heel versus baby face. I never told the Danny Dan- Masterson prank show. Yeah, I was, on a, I was on a Danny. I was on a prank show. And uh, I'll never be able to see the footage again because it was hosted by Danny Masterson, that particular oh, episode. That sucks. So it's been completely wiped from... 
I was the lead into the prank, though. Like, I brought my friend who was being pranked. What, what was the prank? The prank was that there was some really hot women, and I told him that these are some cool Hollywood producers I met. <laughs> hey, Miggy. <laughs> Uh, who are going to help us get, like, scripts made, and we oh, have to go funny. meet with them. And then one of them, the black one, took me in the other room to go bang, and then she started talking to my friend. Mm -hmm. The problem is that the women uh, were not briefed by the producers correctly, so they're like, yeah, we met your friend on the plane. We're airplane stewardesses. Oh. And he's like, oh, he told me you guys are, like, producers in Hollywood. And they're like, yeah, that too. Great. <laughs> So they almost couldn't use his footage because he like he got like twenty minutes. Then the the husband comes home and he's all pissed off. And my buddy yeah. had to pretend to be a gardener, and he goes, "So is this like a prank show?" And they're like, "God damn it!" <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was on YouTube. Maybe somebody can find it. I think it was so called Danny Masterson was doing a sex prank show. That seems like yeah, risky. Well, we never even met Danny Masterson, so I think all that was added in post. Mm -hmm. Is that we did the bit and then it cuts to him in the control room, like yeah, yeah, say this. And I'm like, oh, I don't think he was actually there at all. I think they just yeah. said like, oh, pretend you're there, telling them what to do. Jacob for two, Yarha Fiddle DT being Die. a pirate is all right to be. Yolanda Finkelstein for five. Can we get some pirate stats? You should bring in pirate stats. Sacred Axe for 10 thank you. Influence History thank for you. 2 Can we pay $50 more to add another toy to the box? <laughs> no, because I put it in before the show. Okay. So it's sealed. Um, well. I, we can do 50 <sighs> Maybe we can give out well, some if you clues put multiple, or something. Yeah, maybe there's a clue situation. Maybe, there's some, maybe I could have two boxes, and you can upgrade. <laughs> Maybe I'll let you guys pick which box, A or B. See, this is what I said the problem with the bit is, is there's a lot of different ways it could go. I think you really need to sit down and think. Oh, yeah, people saying the this is the best podcast that I've ever listened to in my life, and I almost crashed my car, but I really need to think it out. Okay. Human Dynamo for five. It will open the box, and it's going to be, oh, you almost got me, a TB Fairy-type Pokemon pop figure. Oh, that was close. Utah-based Armenian for two. Oh, you missed a TBF on the last episode. I know. Please punish yourself. If I don't you... have that sound clip. <laughs> Great. Of course you don't. <laughs> well, I don't know where it went. Eh, we'll find it. Utah-based Armenian for two. You know what's wait, funny? Wait, wait, Maybe I can find it. Hold I on. think I knew you missed it during the show, but I didn't want to say anything because oh. I wanted the fans to shame you. I f here it is. I remembered saying it and going, I eat ass. Yeah. Eat ass. God, I hate that fucking stupid niggler, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> he did a good job. Uh, here, I got it. I'm going back to the super. Oh, you're going to move it to the yeah, there. soundboard. I eat ass. Hey, we there got we two go. of them. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, well, Dick Pudzinski wants to give us $50 to say, Hoist. Pinaseki. Point Pinaseki. Pinaseki. Oh, it's a classic. Uh, is that Jewish? That name? Uh, it says, Hoist the Jolly Richard. Yes! Or the Mizzen Masterson. All right. And set sail for Pepito's Pretty. Time for yeah. co pirate costume. You're going to put on the costume every time. <laughs> what are you talking about? Great. Chris. I'm so happy. Uh, 14 Pat for Sakuki's 1000. You have to you, just send us American money, because I don't know if I'm excited about this or not. I'm going to assume it's a dollar. Hello, Dick and Vito. I love you. Although, let you write the big message. So I don't, oh, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Well, maybe it's a lot of money in the Czech Republic. Well. So I'll say congratulations. Hello, Dick and Vito. I love you both. Dick inspired me to be as drunk as often as I can. And Vito helped me lose around 60 pounds. Wow. wow. Even if I lost more than you, Vito, you are still my inspiration. And I thank you a lot for my inspiration. Love you both. Ahoy from Czech Republic. Thank you. Unless that's not very much money. Well, I don't know what it is. It's probably a dollar. Tepanon for two. Thank you. Diamond G for 10 says Dick missed a TBF last week. Vito slipped it in because there's a dick bite that is t uh. to be played. I wasn't the only one that noticed. Someone's got the audio. Yeah, well, I take your burned. word for it. I'm there pretty sure go. I did. Tepanon for five. Oops. Dick should use everything for file searches. Uh, searches leaks faster and across your whole system compared to Windows built-in search. Is that an app that you're saying? Everything? Everything. Yeah, I've not right. heard of that. What kata kat? Wait, wakata kawakata? Wakata to for five Australian. They call him Vito Giswaldi because he tries to veto all the best bits on the show. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Cody Titus for ten. You guys touched on a bit. I'll touch on it a bit last episode, but the reason streaming services seem to recycle the same crap is because the parent company 
of Netflix also owns Peacock. I know what he's doing. Uh, Tubi, also Fairplex, and Max. Good catch. That was clever. That was good. Let's run with your idea for 10, episode 31 with Nick Ricada at 735. There was a missed uh, TBH. You mean TBF? Right. Wait. I need to ask. Oh, that's for you. There you go. Yeah, Vito doesn't need to pay. Dick has to pay for it. Take your word for it. J-Lo for five British pounds. After all of Vito's pet-o community controversies, we've got TBF to Vosh. Yeah, but Vosh is a hypocrite. That's the worst part. Mr. Girls. That got, is the worst part. That is the worst part. He's obviously getting off to horse lolly shit. A bunch of it. He had a bunch of it. And then he goes, like, oh, I thought it was goblins. No, you thought it was fucking lolly. And so you're, you're getting off. So to you're it. telling me that, like, it's cool to you. If it was a goblin. That you're getting off to a horse <laughs> fucking a goblin, but, like, a horse and a lolly, like, that's real? Like, no, you're saying, oh, I thought it was a horse and a goblin. It was like, oh, well, there's no goblin. Also, so that's fine. You jerked <laughs> off to it. So that means that you didn't have a problem with it then. But it became a problem later when you thought maybe it might be a pictorial representation of an underage anime girl. It's not real. So why was it okay before you knew that information? And yeah, the problem is that he has all these other tweets where he goes, well, anyone who's looking at this uh, is a danger to children and blah, blah, blah. So it's if you're like, just reading okay, a story of like, oh, lollies are fucking a horse. Right. It's like child porn. Guys, just go on Bing. You can generate all the lolly waifus you want. And, uh, but he called Mr. Girl a pedophile. He called over Mr. Girl over. a pedophile a bunch. He called other people a pedophile, and he's looking at you know, honestly worse shit than Mr. Girl. Mr. Girl didn't even look at any of that shit. Yeah, Mr. Girl's got that Shaylin chick, and he treats her horribly. No, Isn't it obvious that um, none of these people online care about like actual pedophiles? They, they, it's like a <laughs> clout contest. Like it's so obvious. Well, you said we should bring it up. We'll touch on it briefly, but. Last week, you were getting attacked by a bunch of these comic guys, and they're these guys who go, oh, Vito's- I was? Yeah, yeah, because you uh, you said one of their comics was late because they were fucking with me and calling me a criminal, a sex criminal or whatever. Oh, I, uh, I hope I also said it was bad, because <laughs> all of their comics are bad. I'm not, look, I'm not going to shade other creators, but after them going, I don't think Vito should, uh, nobody in comics gate should be friends with Vito. He's a- a uh, dangerous guy, and he could hurt our community. And then uh, was uncovered that one of the guys who's drawn like a bunch of their covers and comic books was a genuine, like, like on the sex offender registry, raped a bunch of fourteen year old oh, child molester, like an actual child molester, really, not like a might be child molester, like a served five years in jail for raping a fourteen year old. That's who they hired, and, and they're giving me <laughs> shit. And they're giving a bunch of <laughs> kitty raper fucker. Uh, Payers, luck. I How much for him to do a cover for you? I'm willing. Special, to- special cover. <laughs> How much? <laughs> From I'm, jail. Stop. I'm willing to accept that you probably didn't know. They did know. Of course, they knew. Regardless, they looked at his art and they didn't know he was a child rapist. That's not, crazy. I don't of course know. He, okay. Let me see what he drew. But why don't you guys worry more about actual? Sex criminals instead of paying them their rent, instead of and going funding their child Vito raping expeditions to Thailand. Had this tweet or I don't even fucking know. They what made was this it? Joke. What was this guy's name? His name's Vic King. Was his comic name Vic King? Uh, the problem is his his name that he raped people under is under. Wait, you wait, probably wait, find wait. it on What's that guy's a, Twitter. Who is this? Dark That's Grift. This is the guy who was saying he. They did a stream because they said Dick Masterson hates indie comics and Vito uh, is should this not Vic be. King? Uh, right here? Official statement on the Vic. This yeah, is but his, is this his art? I think that's his. I don't know if that's his art. It must be. He was, he's saying, I'm sorry, I, child, I hired a child molester and, with, Robert and posted his art? Victor. Yeah, I, it, that's what's confusing. I'm like, did you post his art? Well, hold on. Let's I see. saw his art. It's not good. But let me look at it. Look up Vic King art and you'll find his okay. like art page. Vic King, King art. I think he had a page for it. Did they take it down? Uh, no, it would still be Vic King uh, Is that it? Put comic. Put the word comic. Comic. Vicious Ink Comics. That's his Twitter. So there'll be a bunch of his art okay. on there, unless he's smartly privated his Let's account see. by now. No, he hasn't, because he's like an old this man. This is Vic King. This is Vic King. Yeah. <laughs> Obvious child molester. Some of it's way worse. If you don't know, no, they didn't. If they didn't know, if they <laughs> child molester screams child <laughs> child molester. Okay. Even more child. That's the most childish molesterous one I've ever seen. Oh, I shouldn't be playing this because it looks oh, so. Yeah, it's yeah, so obvious that a child molester made this, and they hired this obvious child molester, and they're giving me shit. Oh. 
Again, look, I, I'm going to say you probably didn't know that you hired a child molester. They, uh, they obviously did. And now they're all saying, you know, we're going to vet people and we're going to check backgrounds and make sure it doesn't happen again, which is great. And that's fine. Huh. So they let all the child molesters know that they're going to be vetting them? That was dumb. Well, now they, they should yeah, have said, now we're definitely not <laughs> yeah. on the lookout for child molesters. Then you could have found them more easily. Point is, guys, there's like actual child molesters. Bro, like, there what? just are. Bro, you're telling me this is- Why don't you get mad at those guys? Bro, this is Not fucking... Mr. Girl. Look, this yeah. is an obvious- <laughs> Child molester drew this. Get Are you mad kidding at me? actual child molesters. Like, I'm mad at actual child molesters. Why? I mean, cause they do because they molested a kid. That's awful. Don't say so they went why. to prison. They did their time. If they well, even still, it's still a terrible fucking thing they did. And some of them didn't serve their time. Honestly, my back. Okay, the well, way now it you're is, fucking. I don't give a shit. <laughs> that's dick. My I, back hurts. Fine. That's Whatever your you did, opinion. I no, don't no, care. no. I disavow. Cure cancer, molest kids. Don't I care. disavow all of that. Okay, but there's like actual bad people in the world. You should worry about. Yeah, them. they stole an election. Sure. <laughs> Be worrying about them as well. And they're all, you know what? All those guys are probably child molesters. I won't argue that point. What do you think about Biden always sniffing kids and saying You gotta weird stop sh- sniffing them. Yeah, what's that? Mm, I'm gonna say he just likes good smells. Kids don't smell good. And they got these uh, berry scented shampoos now. I don't fucking know. They're not kids are. They smell disgusting. I don't know why he's sniffing kids. Every time I'm at my nephew's house, I'm like, I gotta. Fucking walking stick. Shove them away. Get the fuck away from me, man. You stink. All right. you guys I don't stink. know. Like, we just, maybe he just likes the smell of hair. Maybe it's just the hair thing. But only little girls. It's not only little girls. It's adult women as well. So you def- you teaming up? You, te- <laughs> you see what a fucking team man you are? Look, Biden's a weird. He's not helping you. I know. I know. No oh, one's not helping me. Trump's not helping me either. Trump would have helped though. you big time. How? Money. Not really. Taking it from China. Building a wall. Have you seen, like, the 10,000 Somalians that are pouring over the border? You think that's good for you? You think those guys give a fuck about your values? Honestly? I think both sides don't give a fuck about me or my money or whatever. I think they both exist to protect rich people. I just happen to think that the Republicans exist to protect rich people a lot more than the Democrats do. And you think Trump is just, like, straight up straight up Republican? Like, you think he's the same as the GOP? He's like because I hate the GOP. I'll never vote for them again. After Trump, I'll never vote again. I don't care. I think he. I, the problem is he's friends with a lot of guys, and I think he's loyal to a lot of those guys. <sighs> he didn't drain the swamp. Well, you know, everyone was fucking with him quite a bit. What was the best thing he did? He the China shit. China shit. He did great on. I got fucked yeah. on that too. Why? New tariffs on uh, board games and card <laughs> games. I can't Sorry, print. Sorry, I forgot who I, I was talking to. I can't print trash. For a moment, I thought I was talking <laughs> to someone serious. No, no, I'm serious. Like, honestly, that almost, uh, what do you call it? That almost bankrupted you? I worked you? for that company that prints shit and, like, uh, printing costs, I think, went up. Yeah. yeah. NAFTA, get rid of NAFTA, get rid of the TPP. No fun, no wars. No fun, no war funding, man. Trillions of dollars that everyone else gives to wars. Trump said no, just assassinate people if you don't like them. Yeah. That was great. I under- Fucking wall? I you don't think we need a wall? I understand the no war spending. I get it. What about the wall? You got to support is the, the wall. War, is the wall co- more cost efficient than just like hiring more border patrol guys? It seems well, like the they problem- can just get around that fucking wall. Nah, because we put the border guys on the wall. So you got to hire border wall guys anyway. Just get them a bunch of fucking vans. Yeah, and- but you can't defund a wall. Okay, Next but I'm saying once in. the wall's built, they'll just cut through the fucking thing. It takes a while. I saw you guys wall. crawling through the fucking fun tunnel at the fucking barbed it's wire to okay? crawl through shit. <laughs> you can do drones and shit. You you know we got to stop this immigration. Can we, right? up, can we set up an immigration like fun wall where like you got to pick one of like four slides? American one Gladiators. Of, one of them goes. Right, you get through. That's fine. I, you don't want you don't want millions of. I would agree with stopping immigration. I agree with you on that. Okay, then you're pro Trump. That's it. I'm pro stopping immigration. That's his only thing. It's not his only. Thing. What else does he have? Again, for me, it really just comes down to to the economy, and uh, it's always just the second those guys get, they always promise I'm going to build the wall, I'm going to do all this, and I know you're going to say the Democrats. He's trying. Him. Yeah, he's starting. Sure. No, the GOP was stopping him. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Whatever. The swamp's going to get cleaned up and get uh-huh. rid of all the cronyism and all the lobbyists. 
And the second they get in there, the first thing they do is they're like, and I'm slicing uh, the top 10% of uh, taxpayers. I'm cutting their taxes in half. Well, that's good. I mean, you know. No, 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 no. I am going to hit the fucking table for that. That's the worst thing. That's Why? all they want to do. That's the first thing they do when they get we don't in need, there. You don't need all this money. America doesn't need any money. They just print it. Why do you need anyone's money? Why is there taxes at all? I hate you. Guys. Why? Tell me. I'm not, I'm not, if we revisit this topic again, why the is there taxes at all? For ten they million years, we can't pay off the debt. Just make more money. Who cares? <laughs> all right, fine. Go. Just keep mentally preparing fine. for your stupid pirate bit, and let's get through this, okay? <laughs> I don't Lemon need trash. to mentally prepare for my <laughs> yeah, bit. You're already there. I forgot the words though. <laughs> okay. A little bit. <laughs> I know you did. Lemon trash E for two. Vito is antagonizing Kiwi Farms with the crock picks. That is correct. Uh, antagonist yeah, but then you cry about how it's like you just want to be a nice guy on Twitter and then you're turning a new leaf, but then the next day you're like, <laughs> I don't think it's possible for me to be a nice guy anymore. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone's driven me insane. Antagonist for five. Hey, this is my 20th super chat, Vito. Post your cats on my server. Also, I'll send you something really cool, but pay dick to destroy it regardless. Oh. Can't add new rules. Riley for ten. I do want look. I I I I don't always remember to post cats in a fucking Discord server. I'm sorry. I'll try to remember. That guy sent a song, antagonist. We got to play it. All right, we'll play it. Oh, at the end of the show. At the end of the show. Yeah. As he presents, this is a clip of verse who says, "Horses, bunnies, turtles, chickens, cut." Oh, those are clippers. clippers and then a dartboard. dartboard. Dude, the Clippers channel with Riley and Mint is the best content. Okay, out there but right why now. am I on Riley's fucking dartboard? So am I. What do you mean? No, you're not. Yeah, I am. You're on the dartboard? Yeah, there's a balloon of me that they popped. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you fucking... You don't... What are you... you I don't thought I there? was an enemy of the Clippiverse and not Maybe you. Maybe you are. I don't want to be an enemy am. of the Clippiverse. <laughs> somebody Why? Somebody told me Riley's mad at me because I was nice to... Uh, who's the Earthworm Jim guy? Doug Apple. Yeah. Well, you fucked up. I wasn't nice nice to him. I just went on the stream with him. I wasn't going to tell him he's a piece of shit. <sighs> Look, if you... Cross Riley, that's your business. I was trying to get Doug Tenable to give me a back of the book quote for Superkiller, and I think he gave me one. What was it? it was something like if you needed you, a second draft. It was. It was like no. It was like <laughs> I don't know what Superkiller is, and you should find, find Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Doug Tenable. Yeah, like, that's pretty funny. Uh, Queen Maeve for five. Vito just doesn't like smartwatches because they don't fit around his large wrists. I have very dainty wrists. Come on. Elon Bust for ten. How many chins is Vito hiding under his beard? Fuck you. Virgin it's a compliment. Collapse. One chin for, is masculine. Uh, Two chins double the masculinity. I think if I shaved this, it would be horrifying. Verge of Collapse for 10 pounds. Dick was just giving Vito a lesson in confirmation bias during last week's booty. Oh, what's going to be in it tonight, mm. boys and girls? Is it, is it another mother? <laughs> is it another mother smell? Because <laughs> be that's that's a bit. not that. Pill Pen 15 for two. Oh, I got a clue. Podcast where people play D&D suck. Terrible idea. I think next month we're going to try and do a D&D &D bonus episode. You can say uh, they suck. Those podcasts are making a bajillion dollars, so somebody's watching that shit. So are chicks showing their assholes on OnlyFans. Yeah, but they're not coming on here. I mean, I guess they could. Well, I mean, my point is, yeah. like, just saying someone's making money on it is not a reason to do I it. I think a D&D &D bonus episode will be fun. Why? Because we get to... Oh, I don't know. Do you want to pretend to be a fantasy character, Dick? You would never do that, right? Talk to your fucking pirate, you retard. John Doe for five. Hire Crimson for biggest problem. No. Sam Tums for five. Not much at the moment, but love you guys. Hope you're both doing good and go fuck yourself. Thanks, Sam Tums. Good to see you. JJ for five. Biggest problem in the universe is car thieves. Please car send thieves, this yeah. super chat to Camelot so you can catch an Uber oh, home. Oh, Camelot. Wait, oh. did they steal his car? They stole his truck. He didn't qualify for Daytona and they stole his truck. So he had to cry right out in the parking lot. He couldn't even hide in his truck after he lost. They stole his truck? That's what he says. Probably what? just trying to distract people from the fact that he lost Daytona. Stole his truck in the parking lot for the racing thing? Yeah, for the qualifier. Dude, that's that sucks. <laughs> yeah. That really sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that guy had a pretty nice truck, too. <laughs> Why? I don't know, because he seems like a car guy. He's, He's like a truck like car guy. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does. It does suck. Well, sucks. I'm, now I feel sad. All right. Suit for five. I got my car stolen. It sucks. Suit for five. Vito, is your comic worse than Isom? Can Dick rewrite it for us? Dick, is my comic worse than Isom? No. Is it the same as Isom? Uh, I mean, 
You, if you ever find yourself in a position where you're saying what Eric July has ever said, you got to rethink. You got to move differently. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dick gave me shit. He's like, you're saying exactly what Eric said. Randy gave you that Erica shit, said. not me. Mm, I think you guys should read the new uh, version. Flample for five. Half the reason this show is great is because there isn't a three-minute DraftKings advertisement in the middle. Oh, we're working on that. Yeah, we, we're, we're going to try to put some ads in. Yeah. You know. Hey, guys, we got to pay the bills. Stratergery for five. Vito, Dick knows what it is, and what it is is what it is. Stratergery for five says the same thing. As huh, surgery for another two says, I almost forgot. Trucks, trucks me. Trucks me. Don't forget the Trucks Me shirt available now from Killdozer down in That's a good shirt. You got to own a Trucks Me shirt. Yeah. I don't you ha- got it, man. I got to get one. I think I forgot to get one. Chick sees you in that. She's like, that. Ooh, not a pedophile. I did get my Ricky shirt, though. Yeah, that's a good one, too. I love it. I think the colors are. See, you were all worried that the printing is going to like suck. This looks great. Yeah, it's print on demand. I saw you have a new shirt. I do. America's Wingman? No. Oh, uh, no, that's old. Oh, you just like re. That was like the first shirt I ever it? made. Yeah. Oh, okay. I put it on print on demand. <laughs> Some See? people like it. Yeah, the print on demand stuff looks great. You know, you just don't make as much money, but it's fine. You get a little something. It's fine. Johnny Rock, it's for the fans. Johnny Rocket for five. I saw Tom mm. McDonald drink a smoothie of cum and diarrhea. He said it was a street thing. Well, we'll ask him about That's that. That's interesting. Did he? Did he write a song, a rap song about it? <laughs> Maybe Ben Shapiro and him could tell Probably us. Probably Matt about Walsh rapping about not getting cum. cum stuck in your beard. <laughs> Two socks getting, Calzini getting married is cool. for ten Canadian. It's become abundantly clear that the best part of the show is anytime Dick loses it on veto and bashes him relentlessly. No, no. Mm. No, 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 no. Maddox would never put up with this. Thank you for being professionals. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hey, D- <laughs> he wouldn't. We were talking about how the best. He part- would throw a fit and say, and just look like, <laughs> look at Sean and go, stop. We need to, we need to stop. We need to take a break. Well, it's like, like I a said- retarded person. Like, right. Did, 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 did you guys have to take stop. breaks during episodes? Like yeah, the things yeah, got too yeah. heated. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Uh, we did during that the one where I said, women should expect to get. To a uh, guys are gonna yeah. violate Drunk them if they are not violated. Yeah, he stopped the episode. Yeah, he goes, oh, no, that's that's a big <laughs> foul. <laughs> you can't say that. And I was like, what? <laughs> Isn't they the show that we argue? Should. Is the show arguing? Koof for two. Thank you all for not killing yourselves. Thank you, Koof. Well, it's definitely not the format. Yeah, <laughs> I said on the la- on the last show, or we we agreed. It was a great moment where I said, hey, v, uh, Dick, insult me. Call me a fat piece of shit. And you refused to uh, play along. That was, that was good comedic That's the timing. most insulting thing I could have said. I know. Yeah. And it was a perfect example of me trying to illustrate something and you making me feel stupid yeah, by illustrating great. the opposite. <laughs> uh, that's just good comedy. You Bob! Me in a no-win situation. <laughs> Bob's the man for 10. Dick and Vito, did you hear about the cop in Florida? Who heard an acorn fall on the top of his car, then emptied his clip at the guy in the back of his car. Vote up Dick's censored cop problem. Did you see that video? Yeah, it's hilarious. I don't think it's hilarious. I was terrified. I'm like, is he actually shooting a guy just like locked in the back of his patrol car? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Somehow that guy did not get hurt or something? Well, the cops also have bad aim. Yeah, yeah, they have terrible fucking aim. <laughs> shots fired! Shots fired! An acorn strikes his car like Peggy like never off. heard of it. Ah! 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 And he's like just, and then he just empties his gun at a car with a a suspect locked in the back. Like, what the fuck do you? Th- he probably thought that the suspect was being freed, like Red yeah. Dead Re- Redemption too. Yeah, exactly. Someone yeah. else came oh, along. There's fucking sugar get Dutch's on top of me. We gotta get him out of here. <laughs> Fire up the steam mule. If that guy gets a job in another uh, police department, uh, please vote up my problem that uh, Dick negged me on for some reason. LJ Clabarino for two. What's the worst job you've ever worked at? Dick. This one. It's not a job. <laughs> Shut up. Not for you. Uh, what is the worst job I ever had? I got a job briefly introducing people to a new uh, checkout scanner at the supermarket. And I quit after a day Uh, because it was just me standing at the front and going, hey, while you shop, do you want to take a scanner around with you and scan items as you put them into your thing? And they'd go, no, that's retarded. I'll just do it at the end. (laughs) And after eight hours of not convincing anyone to use the thing, I went, yeah, it is retarded. I don't want to be here. Uh, Clip Simon for two. Post a video of you stealing magic cards already. No. Yeah. what, What do we have to do for that? Well, it's only a picture. And I don't know if I still have the picture. We can animate it with with AI. 
It's, yeah, we kind of animate it. AI. Animate this shit. Uh, it's not that interesting. Animate this so cops bust in and tackle this guy. And I wish it was. Ass. I wish it was video because you would have heard my excellent bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> I scanned it. Oh, look at the receipt. Look at the receipt. It's not on here, sir. Well, your fucking machine's broken then. You know, you figure Let's it out. Let's go steal some stuff tonight. Why not? My girlfriend's out of town. Let's go steal some I'd go on a shoplifting parts. adventure. Big heist. Nah, we'll get too big. Yeah. Uh, when I was, uh, at one point, me and my friends, we had a shoplift of Fadon. And the, it was whoever stole the most dollar amount in one day. We had three different stores. What were they? Uh, we went to, like, the Hobby Lobby. No, not Hobby Lobby, because they're actually really good at getting it. It was like what, whatever the other one is. Target Michaels? and Barnes & Noble. Books? Books? The nerds were stealing fucking books. Oh, I stole a shit ton of comic books back in the day. And they say the comic industry's dying. You've seen my <laughs> stealing coat. I st Wait, no, that's not my original stealing coat. My original stealing coat, I sewed a pocket into it. So oh it was my like God, and so and it went all the way across the coat, so I could just toss something in. Oh. But then I eventually, you've seen my other stealing coat. What's wrong with you? Shoplifting's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I keep hitting the table. I've stopped. Look, I used to be really poor. Okay, you know, there's a period of time doesn't where doesn't mean you could steal other people's stuff. I know comic but, books. You know, I wanted comic books and magic cards and bullshit. I used to be poor. I used to be really so I could steal but steal stuff. Hey, you know, you see something you want. What and now, doing? what's your excuse? Stealing magic cards. <laughs> you know, well, I come from. It's my culture. I come from poverty. Yeah, you're a target. They, they want you to take one thing. I've given them so much over the years. They've said, didn't they do a study? It's like sixty percent of people steal from the self checkout. At this point, if you're not stealing from the self checkout, 60? yeah. Where'd they do the study? Six percent of like a certain generation, like from ages whatever. They did the study in uh, Watts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like really, uh, it's it's catching on. Wendy's chili in my blunt for two Canadian. Never thought Dick would be an Apple cultist. It's not a cultist. It's just good equipment. <laughs> it's a cult. And it all works together. And with your family, you could look at a map and oh, that's where my dad is. All right, he's fine. Sarah he didn't fall off his fucking bicycle again. Gardner for five Australian veto stretching weakens muscles. Don't do it before lifting. Not that you'd have to worry about that. Yeah, but if you're worried about throwing out your back, you want to get a little limber, no? You want to do a jumping jack or something? <laughs> yeah, I do like Charles Atlas. Uh, I got those goofy things. Yeah, the, the big springs, uh, the big uh, fucking dumba, the circular weights, the triangle weights. Yeah, uh, Charles well, I do Atlas. Have a kettlebell. Yeah, the kettlebell. Uh, the goofy sp extreme sports one. Hmm. He sets up the home gym and does rings flying around. All I know is I don't want nobody kicking sand in my face. I don't stand for that. Shit lips for five. Hello, friends. Coup for two. Where's the retardo version of the Ricky shirt? Tonight or tomorrow I will put it up. Oh, good. Oklavich for two. Vito, was Song of the South a cool idea? Yeah. What does that mean? I think I was talking about Disney has cool. Oh, uh, Walt oh, Disney had cool ideas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Song of the South is a, a cool idea. Yeah. What if a former slave told fun stories about a rabbit? And then now we're not allowed to watch him anymore for some reason because the slave was too much fun. Oh. Do you know Song of the South? I don't even. I know it's racist, but I don't really understand why. I don't really re like. Remember I just it. don't. People don't like the idea of a ex slave shucking and jiving and singing to white kids. It's not racist. What about Huckleberry it's like Finn? Uncomfortable. How's his ass? You're not allowed to do Shucking Huckleberry Finn anymore. What? Not uh, with Tom. Tom of a certain. Man, you got to watch. Uh, American. God, what was the movie I American. watched last night? It was so. Hold on, I got to find uh, what, American, American fiction. Let me see. You let were me telling me to up. watch it. Was that it? Hold on. I'd seen. Uh, I'd seen a promo for it. Oh yeah, you got to. You will love it. <laughs> And then we got to do a review of that. You want to do review a review of that? that? It's okay. so good. It's it's so funny. All right. I'll watch that. That sounds good. I was rewatching a documentary now. You watched that, right? Yeah. I was watching the Rebel Bowler episode again. Yeah, that's a good one. That's good stuff. Uh, shit lips for five. I have chronic pain. Substances are way more fun than Greenland. Support your local small business, especially the pharmacists on the corner. They are working hard. It's Chris Gofield for 10. Vito's booty, booty is the funniest bit Dick has ever come up with. He wouldn't lose weight for money, but he's losing weight for toys. Yep. He'll never say no to the bit, no matter yep. what. Never, never give him anything he good. He will never say no to the bit. LJ Clamarino for two. What is the worst purchase you've ever made? You got to ask me for, you got to spend more than $2 if you prefer one of these open ended questions that lead us down a rabbit hole. Shit lips for two. Marriage license. 
Benjamin for five, random. But what do you guys think about Shane Gillis returning to host SNL after getting fired from SNL for doing Asian jokes? I think me and Dick both agreed that he should big time them, get on stage, talk a bunch of shit about how much they suck, and then leave. Yeah, I think it, it, but everyone's just won't. desperate to be back in Hollywood. Right. So he's going to – I mean, he it's, like, smart, but I think it's um, dumb. He'd rather have a movie than make a stand, and I can't argue against that. Makes sense to me. Yeah, I won't. I mean, I won't watch it. I'd rather uh, get shot in the head than watch Saturday Night Live. I'll watch it if they say Andy's going to do a really funny Asian sketch. Yeah, I would watch. It's Saturday Night Live. Yeah, if they said he's going to do Samurai Deli for ten straight oh, minutes, I'd yeah. be like, "All right, I'm yeah. in." Oh, Samurai Deli. <laughs> I don't think I'm the demo for the culture war, though. Like, I don't give a shit about these fucking morons dancing for pretending that they're involved in some kind of political I haven't watched an episode of SNL jokes. in ever. I can't mm -hmm. remember ever watching SNL. Johnny Rico for two. Standard. Draft boxes are a buck forty. Are you gay? Uh, they're coming down. The new Magic set has uh, crashed and burned, and prices are going to zero. Lloyd Lewin for eight Australian. Speaking of suicide, it's what like it's so classless. What? Oh, look, the show I got kicked off of wants me back on. I can't wait to be on it. Like, I don't know what you do in that situation. Um, you fuck with them. I would tell them, let me do the show, and I don't want to use any of your cash. As soon as it starts, yeah. just only do, what would Sam Hyde do? Kaufman it. Only do a racist Chinese voice the entire time, yeah. no matter what the rehearsal was, as soon as it starts. Oh, hello, everyone! Like, and do it so it's, like, do it until you feel bad. Until you feel like you're making a mistake. <laughs> That's when you know it's funny. That's what I do. He's up on stage uh, crying, <laughs> trying to get, Oh, me so horny. Yeah. And he's like, he knows he's burning every bridge in Hollywood, but he just And then just stop, and there's like through. coughing uh, uh, in the audience. <laughs> like, what's the point? What's the point? You're going to have some middling fucking career. You're going to make some shitty movies that, like, are going to have wreaths on them, and the right wing's going to lose their shit because they all desperately want to be in Hollywood. Like, who fucking cares about any of this shit? Just fucking do the racist Chinese voice, man. Be a be the lady that throws the package through the thing in the Apple commercial, all right? Maybe that is why I do have to watch, though, because it's watching a man. Like, he's standing at the crossroads. But he's going to puss out. It'll be some, like, oh, here's a little joke. Here's a little joke. I know. Like when Norm did it, you could tell he hated them. Yeah. And he was doing it and hating them the spite. entire time out of spite. Well, he wanted that Norm show. He got that sitcom. And that sucked. Yeah. Even with Nikki Cox. I forget. I think somebody did cuck the content on that, and Norm explained how it went down. Mm. I don't remember exactly. It was fine for him because he was on it for so long, but I'm against Shane going on, and he will. <laughs> I also hate this, like, atmosphere of everybody going, like, well, you know, you have to understand because of his career. Like, no, I don't. I think it's shitty. Um, Sam Hyde should have a uh, network television show. Yeah. He did have, well, he had a cable television show. He did until Tim Heidecker. No, not exactly. And Brett Gelman. Brett Gelman, yes. And Tim Heidecker. I'm going to say Tim has uh, escaped responsibility for that. I don't know why everybody blames Tim Heidecker for that. Uh, cause he did it. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. Did he steal the election too? Mm, maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked into that. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Uh, what is the likelihood of Maddox killing himself 100%? Coup for two. Zero. Uh, JFC. Jesus fucking Christ. Can I have a extra thank you for not killing yourselves? Yes. Thank you, Coop. Shit lips for two. The chances should be higher, in my opinion. Jad Dragon for five. French onion is gross. Sour cream is gross. Okay. No, those are good things. Cool for five. How rich is it that Vito is lecturing Dick for eating garbage food? Time to walk the plank, ye land blubber. Me and you have an That's argument what said. about what? What did I miss? He said land blubber. Oh, land blubber. Okay. Mm. Don't be twisting mm. his words. Big boss for five. Fat guys no food more than, you know, not as fat guys. <laughs> yeah, you do. I know. Thank you. We Big discussed this. Were the clams okay? The fritters? They were great. What do you mean? Oh, no. My iPad. <laughs> <laughs> no! I was fucking with it too much! No! no! You can fix it. You can fix no! it. Captain Dick. No! No! Oh, there it is. I feel like I'm babysitting a child playing with his uh, dress-up toy chest. Damn it! No, why do you ask? 
They were great. Nobody said anything, and I was like, oh, I must have fucked them up or something. They didn't say they were good? I didn't. I, I was just like, you know, nobody came to me and was like, hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> you want notes on your clam fritters? I just wanted to know if they were good. They I liked them great. a lot. I yeah. ate one. I ate a couple. I was like, shit. They were all gone. Yeah, they came. They, they, shit. Eventually. I guess people don't want to eat them all. But yeah, I made my, uh, I mean, whatever. It's from a mix, but I made them. God, Vito, if I know it would be such I a thing, I would have eaten them all right away. I just wanted, I just don't want, you know, you go to a, okay, every, I think everybody who brings food to a party. Not me. Is going like, is anyone eating that? Did people like it? You know? You feel bad if you, like, let's say you bring brownies to a party and someone else brings brownies to a party and all of her brownies are gone, all of your brownies are still there. Yeah. You know you fucked up the brownies, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, That's true. That chili was good. I should have got some of that chili to bring. Up. I should have got more of that chili. Mm. Dar. I should have stolen more food. Oh, from look your at party. how many fucking super chats there is. Ah, whatever. You got nothing to do. What are you gonna do after the show? <laughs> fucking, I don't know, man. Go research voting fraud so I can send <laughs> yeah, you links. That's all you guys do. Uh, Big Boss for five. Long time fan of the show. Vito's booty is a terrible bit. I agree. Captain Dick sucks. Actually, he said the opposite. He very much likes the bit. Okay, Big Boss. Does everybody need to tell Dick how what a genius he is for dressing right, up right, like a pirate? Right, come on, come on, come on. There's a lot of super chats. Pineapple Just... Man for five. Hi, guys. Played Neopets today and got a good paintbrush. Bag of Schmidt, thank you for being a good friend and playing it with me. By the way, feed Jub Jub. What the fuck is this? Okay. Club Penguin fucking shit. Use the DMs on that app. Diamond G for 222. Jared from Subway and Chauvin vote it down. Oh. Jad Dragon for five Australian Pineapple Man says, I've got a really nice, expensive paintbrush today, and Bag of Schmidt needs to feed his Neopet. Okay. On the John for five Canadian. When it comes to eating garbage like chips and dip, the fat guy should be the authority on the matter. Yeah. Also, Coop right. was late with the thank you for not killing yourself. Get you right. Coop. Utah based Armenia for two. Can't have phones for the same reason scores are down. Doesn't matter. None of these kids are going to learn anything. Diamond G for 222. Thank you for not coofing yourselves. Thank you. Thank None you. of them are going to learn anything. Yeah. So why do so we I have... teach them Common Core math? Yes. Pineapple Man for two. Because it's, it's a scam. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jad Dragon, but I figured it out. Oh, my God. All this Neopet shit. Shred 2010 for 10. Hate fishing for smaller chips with a big chip, especially in dip jars. Ugh. You yeah, get exactly. dip goo all over your fingers. Exactly. Break off a picture of your cat in the pet o community veto. Stop making AI children. Just leave the AI kids alone. All right, I'll make AI cats and post them in your stupid server. King TL for two. I'm back, motherfucker. Veto W, what just happened guaranteed. Jihado Bob for two. What are your favorite dinosaurs? Stone Cold Flea for two. School shit out of scale for fat kids like Vito. Jerk Jergensen for five. Shut in up. In the bathroom. Shut up. Instead of the yeah, that, I'll machine. throw that fucking thing in the toilet. What would be better for Vito's booty? Warhammer figures or a signed copy of Isom number one? I don't want either, either of one. them. Crap. Neither. Stray beans for three Australian. Can you still watch Hee Hee and oh sorry Ace Three Ace Three in 2024? Or is it too sad? Who the fuck watches that shit? Yeah, I don't know who's watching that. King TL for two. He called Mr. Girl a pedophile. Fuck that guy. Oh, he did. Mr. Girl should sue him. He should. He I asked him he to take it down. Some good lawyers. King TL for two. Is Masterson shirt for sale? Mask shirt W. No, it's all sold out, man. Diamond. It's just screen printed, too. It's good stuff. Mm, that is not. Not this shit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the print. You, you're an idiot. Diamond G for 222. Mother's milk carton. Swim, Slim Will is 96 for five. Android is way better than Apple. Vito sent me a pic of his cat one time, and I was able to use the editor to crop his wiener out. Huh. Mm. Why are you sending that guy your cat? Oklavich for two. Vito, I love Putin. He is great. I hate Ukraine. Rev for five. Vito can make a decent argument on anything as long as it's not his <laughs> libtard political <laughs> views. Oh, is this the part where you lectured it's so, me? It's so shut peculiar. Johnny, it's so shut fucking up. peculiar. Shut up. Johnny Rocket for ten. Coach Red Pill was arrested for hating on Ukraine. Tortured in Ukrainian prison. Killed when he tried to escape. Why are we sending money to a country that kills Americans for speech? Why? We send money to a lot of people. Oh, you can't even say I We hate send that. money to Mexico. Mexico is fucking corrupt and shit. You're okay? the teamest motherfucker that's ever teamed. Trump also facilitated giving money to other countries. That's just the thing America does. Okay? I'm so that's done staggering. with staggering. You're right. LJ Clabberino for five. Anytime Vito's wrong on a topic, he acts like the donkey from that Family Guy <laughs> skit that just keeps screaming, no, 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 hee-haw, hee-haw. Oh, man. I'm never talking oh, about no. election fraud on this show again. Pigeon for five, one guy, but not any of the ten you gave me. Give me ten. Give me ten yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 and you're going to pick the dumbest one. No, give me ten. Laugh about I'm will... so much smarter than you. 
Ooh, well, actually, Ruby Freeman, this old black lady, stole the election. Camel toe for five. Vito literally knows nothing about politics <laughs> and loves to act like he's the smartest person in the room, completely outmatched by Dick. All Dick said was computers. That's it. JJ for five. Remember that Berkeley teacher who hit that guy with the padlock? No one snitched on him. Oh, yeah. He there you wouldn't go. do a All fraud. those guys are out. How do you explain that? All the Antifa guys that beat people up got out of jail. How do you explain that? They got snitched on. But why aren't they in jail? But we know who they are. Why aren't they in jail? If if they committed- Why aren't they in jail? I don't know. What's your best guess? My best guess is that uh, the fucking cucked out courts just don't want to put people in the system. Sorry. They let, a lot of people, the they let a lot of people, like, look, the prisons are all full, so they're trying to put less people in prison, especially in Berkeley, which has a bunch of, like, fucking left-wing liberals that don't want to put anyone in prison. Are you fucking insane? It's not an Antifa You think thing. that the Antifas who beat people with bike locks are not in jail because the system? I think it's because it is a that whole... It's like all of San Francisco. They don't jail anybody. You don't think it's... Uh, they're just like a political boot squad that goes around kicking people's asses and everyone's working together to get them out so they can go cause more mayhem? No. <laughs> How do you think that would look? How do you think that would look? I think, How do you think it looks in Russia where I that think happens? you would be able to point me to which prosecutor or which lawyer Gascon. or whatever. Gascon is doing it. Okay, Gascon. LA prosecutor. LA Gascon is DA. pro Antifa. Yes. Okay, and he wants to get them all out of prison. Yes. Because he wants them to go and cause, cause harm. political terror on the streets. Yes. Okay. And how do you know this? Because it's happening. <laughs> That's no. Well, it's the, gov it's the That's government. They can stop it from happening at any time. How do you know that that's the reason he's letting them out? <laughs> why are they out? Because why are, uh, like, drug dealers get out, murderers get out, people get out of uh, things. I hit a cop with a car and they let me out. Why'd I get out? Because I'm Antifa? They didn't have a big enough cell. I ran a cop over with my <laughs> car. I almost murdered that guy. Deflecting, like always. I'm not deflecting, but Black seriously, deflecting. my case didn't even get to, you know, the judge threw it out like immediately. They didn't even try to try it because they're like, we don't have time. Proud Boys, jail, Antifa, out. Why? <sighs> Just going down a fucking rabbit hole. Did Gascon have the ability? Why is Julian, did Gas why is Julian did Assange Gascon, in prison? Did Gascon prosecute any Proud Boys? No. Okay, so it's irrelevant. You're talking about a completely different jurisdation. Feds did. Okay, so the feds, the feds prosecute the feds Antifa. The feds have prosecuted Antifa. There's an Antifa guy who just went to jail the other fucking week. For child porn, probably. No, no, <laughs> no. I think there was an Antifa guy in California who's going to jail because uh, I forget where it was, but the, a bunch of Antifa guys showed up at a Trump rally and started fighting guys, and this guy got three years in jail. It happens. It's happening right now. Yeah, token. <laughs> okay, see, now you're fucking making excuses. Antifa guys get jailed. That's not all the time. and Definitely uh, not in Berkeley. Yeah, yeah. Pigeon for five. We count them at night. Yes. Jad Dragon for five. I was approached by Joe Biden to do this, and I felt uncomfortable, so I said no. Well, there's a million dollars if you can prove it. Jab City for five. I tried to get Renown Zero to join the podcast, but he blocked me. Vito, you should just agree with Dick. Elections are rigged, and Republicans shouldn't vote. You're right. Don't vote. It's a waste of your time. Rev for two. Tribalist Vito forever loyal to Brandon. <laughs> No cheating. A Nazi is, salute. No cheating. That's a is Nazi going on fucking salute. Voting. Vito just did. <laughs> no, I didn't. You absolutely. This is not a Nazi, Nazi salute. Nazi salute. That's not Nazi a Nazi salute. <laughs> Nazi salute. Vito's doing a Nazi salute. Shut up. I didn't do that. Vito's doing a Nazi salute. <laughs> Vito's doing a Nazi salute. Spider Eternal for five. No cheating is going on with voting. That's why the voting. I'm not reading these. Johnny Rocket for ten. That's why the voting data the was fucking around deleted. Obama why was else insane, that? And I was in a mostly white area, like he was going to time travel and prevent slavery. The idea of black people love Biden twenty percent more is unbelievable. It's fucking retarded. Deep striker for two says Ricky Retardo. <sighs> Campbell Tell for two says Vito sounds regarded. <laughs> Diamond G for two. Assisted ballots are worth an assisted death. Torturist for two. Fourteen eight B. Okay, now he's trying to get me to do the Hitler thing. Swagmaster for five. DNC paid volunteers in Phoenix went. No, they didn't. Yes, two they for did. two. Team guy veto election not? fraud veto. Maxwell, 21 for 12. Vito, it's your boy prime. When are you going to do a Shadow Heart stream? Is that the card game? I don't know what that is. Uh, send me a message. We'll look into it. Pineapple Man for two. Weren't Dominion voting machines closed source? You know what that means? Yeah. <laughs> Captain no, they Cheese were not. for five. Vito thinking black people were more hyped for Biden than the fr Okay. JJ for five. No one else committing insane. fraud. Crimson committing mm. unemployment fraud. fraud. He, needs he needs to get, to get, a, get job, a job, sir. Get a job. Before he gets caught. 
Oh, man. If there's one thing that black people love more than of the first black president, it's a white old racist. That's what I know, because I'm fucking smart. So why didn't Rudy Giuliani do that? Why didn't he talk about that? Why didn't he talk about what? What I just why did? Why didn't the Kraken get up there and talk about it? Why didn't she oh, get- Oh, okay. So because other retards did stuff that- that is doesn't that make sense. That was Trump's handpicked guys. He put them in charge of it. There was like, no, he didn't. Trump has millions of dollars. If he believes election fraud happened, why didn't he assemble a crack legal team and have because them handle it? Because all of those guys will be pariahs. You can't. Trump cannot hire good people. They'll be sued into oblivion. And no one will ever work with them. They'll probably end up in fucking prison. Giuliani did not have to, at any point, get in front of a fucking whatever it was, TV camera, and go, the reason for the election fraud is these two old black ladies. <laughs> there was no reason for him to do that. So you're not- And it was wrong. It was incorrect. So you are you don't care that the computers that elect our president are closed source and, unedit and unauditable because of Rudolph Giuliani, who was on Seinfeld? That's your- <laughs> Like, that's your thought process? Wow, those computers really control the fate of the free world. But, you know, Rudy Giuliani's on Seinfeld, and he was an idiot. So that's, man, I'm you not guys really saying... have to explain why Giuliani's an idiot before we look okay, at these computers. Okay, so say we want to make the computers auditable. Yeah, let's say it. Okay. I, I, sure. You're going to fucking prison. No, that's not who. <laughs> who? Why are they not auditable then? <laughs> Bank software is! No one has gone to prison for saying, I want the voting machines to be auditable. That's n who has gone to prison for saying that? Maybe Trump. Maybe Trump. That's not what he said. That's not Trump, what he's even being tried guy. for. He's getting sued. Anybody getting sued for shitting on Dominion is going to prison because they're saying that's Because they've audible. said crazy shit. You can't go crazy. Fucking fake. All of it's fucking fake. <laughs> you're, you're allowed to criticize disavow, the government, disavow. by the way. Uh, that's America. No, you don't have to disavow criticizing the government in America. Dominion voting systems did nothing wrong. And if you want to sue anybody, sue How can the you pirate. be liberal and support that position? I just said, if you want to make the machines auditable, that's a fine argument. Make that argument. Why aren't you making that argument? It's a, sure. Because okay. you cheat. No, I that's agree. That's why. Because right. you know the cheating benefits no, your I team, you. even though it doesn't benefit you. If it would make you happy, yes, I want the machines to be auditable. There you go. That would not make me happy. <laughs> yes, it would. That's what you no, want. No, it would not. Okay, then what do you want? <laughs> I'm not, I don't care about being happy. <laughs> I would... want the fucking source code of the machines. Now. Okay. Now. That's fine. I'm, I'm not saying you can't ask for that. No, I, I don't want to ask for it. I want it. You should want it, too. Everyone should want it. It should be given. Sure. I want it, too. No, you don't. I can tell. What do you mean? I just said I want it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It took 30 minutes of yelling to get there. I can't <laughs> I yell at every person otherwise. in America. I never said otherwise. I just said, but the, just because we don't have it, I'm not going to accept that the election is fraudulent. Okay? Okay. Go tell your bank. Hey, uh, don't bother with receipts anymore. I don't care with the money. Just tell me how much I have and... If there's any discrepancies, sue me for defamation. I can't wait for the next election, because you guys are going to do the same fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, because you're going to steal it again. Good. I hope we do, because it's fine. I know. We all know that you hope we do. Why you would you do? just make us not steal it? Because <laughs> you put us in prison. You guys had Jan 6. You should have just went harder in the paint. You had every chance. could have seized government. You could have locked up Pence. But you guys got cold feet. Now we put all you guys in prison. You're never going to get the chance to do it again. And you love that. Well. Because yeah. you feel like you're in control because you vote for evil people <laughs> who are child molesters, et cetera. They're all child molesters. And they too. say, we're on the same team. Right. So you feel good about it's that. It's a team sport. Yeah, it is for you guys. It is for liberals. You just want to, you want your team to win. You don't give a fuck. How? It's true. Not, it's true. I'm never. 100% true. Please Everyone knows it. never super chat about election fraud. <laughs> Everyone knows it. Don't send messages in about election fraud. Everyone knows it's true. Arr. This will just go on. Everyone knows it to be true. Ever. Everyone oh knows God. it to be true. I fixed my eye patch. Great. Actually. Uh, Derek Laris for Summit Canadian. Look at Dr. Robert Epstein's work. I don't. Is that for real? On how to manipulate votes through suggested search results. Great. Faddix the Great for five veto changing voted to un changing voting to unsolicited mail and voting. Okay. Dickington Post for five. We need the classic classic wiki Ricky quote. Don't wape from Don't Johnny wape. Rocket. <laughs> Oh. Don't you dare wait. Have you read the Johnny Rockets Alpha Core? Uh, no, I need to. Holy fuck, man. They're so funny. Someone link it to me in the uh, Discord or he something. He needs like a domain because I can't read Jabeel Substack. He, well, he doesn't want to get sued. What? Eric, Eric July is a very litigious individual. He's going to sue somebody for AppleCore.com or whatever. No, I meant net. like reposting the comic. 
No, he edited the comic. But it's still. Oh, no, that's parody. I know it's parody, but it's like Eric would still find a way. Living in terror. That's the, you guys do whatever you want to do. Legal terror of the system that you're saying we're free under. You live in fear of it. (laughs) Even co- this amazing comedy, you're terrified of it because the legal system that it. you support I think it's might funny. come down on you. I just don't think you should make a website for it. It's on. It's already up on media. All right. I think it's fun. It's funny. You don't think you should make a website of it? Maybe make a website then. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> you are. It's just. I think I'm just overwhelmed right I now. I mean, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> you know what? Do whatever you fucking want. Why would you I'm say so you tired. shouldn't make a website? <laughs> You're not fighting me on everything today. You know what? You're fighting me. I uh, said make a website. And you said, I don't think you should make a website. What the? <laughs> who's fighting who? You're right. I'm wrong. I'm just wrong. Rex Saxon for five. Vito, are you playing Skull and Bones? I was trying to find that guy's buried treasure who was on the show a few weeks ago, and he's pissing me off. I'm not playing Skull and Bones. I heard it sucks. What's that? It's the new pirate game, but instead of playing as a pirate, you basically end up playing as a pirate ship. And everyone's like, why are you not the pirate? You're a ship? Kind of, yeah. Like, the way they've made it, like, you sail your ship around, you have a crew, but you're like, but which one am I? And they're like, well, you just you're not really out of the them, ship? you control the ship. It's like Sim Pirates? Yeah. Well, there was an Assassin's hmm. Creed Pirates game that everybody says is the greatest Pirates game ever made. I actually wanted to buy it now that Skull and Bones came out. I went, I should finally just fucking play that. Because that came out made a bajillion dollars, and they said, we're just going to take that and make an entire pirate franchise. And everyone's saying, oh, they fucked it up, just played the Assassin's Creed Pirate game from ten years ago. Okay. So I kind of want to do that. It's like uh, Red Dead Redemption with pirates, the Assassin's Creed thing. It sounded like it. Jacob for five, our matey, gather you scallywags, TBF for Vito's booty. Clip Sama for two, everything on v- Void Tools is the best program ever, Void Tools. I guess that's that search program they want us to use. Okay. Dean Shock for five, thanks for all the laughs. Hope you get something good this week, Vito. I probably won't. <laughs> on the John for two, Canadian. Oh, man, do I love that eat ass sound effect. <laughs> DJ K, for what I assume is the equivalent of 50 American dollars, says, Are you ready, kids? Are you ready, kids? There's a scale, there's a pirate flag, there's a parrot, and what is this blue thing I'm seeing? Ah, uh, seaman. Okay, seaman. <laughs> Ten, uh, King TL for two, Win Masterson, Win Vito, big W's this week. Jerk Jergensen for five. Are we just going to forget Trump made North Korea calm down his whole time in office? Why are we going to forget that? The Nothing's whole North Korea thing. On the John for two. Vito Trump got you that sweet, sweet vaccine. That is true. Yeah, that's right. You should be liking him. Two for five. For your COVID vaccine. Idaho passed a bill that would give the death penalty to convicted PDF files. Vosh should stay clear of that place. Pun intended. Oh, don't go horsing around in Idaho, Vosh. Don't fuck around down there in my mouth. Right around in the horse. Dead. See, I told you that happens sometimes. Yeah, I know. Because right. you're using that weird middle wheel click thing. I know. I'm an idiot. Uh, let's see. Jad Dragon 5, my ex was Chinese, and when I asked her about the Uyghur camp, she said it's good. We have too many people in China. <laughs> We have, we have to, to think, think the same, same over here. <laughs> Jacob for two, Vito makes Too a many way... X's. Hold on. Someone finally said something nice about me. He says, Vito makes a way better show than Maddox they ever did. They always say that. <laughs> Every fucking episode they say that. Well, thank you. It's nice that someone said something nice. <laughs> oh, Righty tighty 91 for two. Thanks for the show. Torturous for five Canadian <gasps> pretending TBF a fairy or elf is gay. Pirate or cowboy is cool because they're always <laughs> drunk. They are always drunk. 14 Pat for some Kazurka stands says 1,000 CZKs, around $50. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much. Right, thank wow. you, Polish guy. Thank you, Czech Republic. I appreciate that. Uh, you can set it in USD to make it easier for us. Jacob for five. Dick, my car broke down on the way to Road Rage Atlanta, and I couldn't make it. Can I get a free ticket for the next one in the Southeast U.S.? Arr, absolutely not. You can't. Sorry that that happened Why to you, though. everyone free shit from this show? <laughs> King TL for two. If McDonald is coming, ask cloned rappers. Five-star track. Johnny Rico for five. I'll DM you for your D&D one-off. I'll pre-gen characters and make it non-regarded for is that you. The guy, is that the guy that was? No, no. Oh, a different guy. There's going to be a comp. We're going to have an all Dungeon Masters show. <laughs> Five Dungeon Masters competing. For okay, that would be a good reality show. That would actually, not for us to do. At the same time. But if it was like America's Top Dungeon Master, I think people genuinely would want to watch us that. Us doing the adventure and then five Dungeon Masters <laughs> working at the same time. All right, there's an orc. Oh, the orc. Uh, and they take turns. I wanted like one of those food shows where we go, we really enjoyed the Elf Forest adventure you prepared. 
But we thought it started straying kind of into an uncomfortable territory where you made one of them underage and forced us to rape that her. That could be a real show, though. That could be a real show. Yeah. America's Top Dungeon Master would be like <laughs> some of the internet Okay, would the watch. theme is <laughs> yeah. it's set in an episode of The Office. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. Ooh. You have to make uh, uh, characters for us, but you're only allowed to use- uh, Jim from The Office. Okay, well, not that. <laughs> <laughs> but He's like spilling that. chili. It's a plus two ch <laughs> vorpal chili. For some reason, I, uh, me and Randy both told Dick he needs to watch The Office. Or we said we like The Office. You should watch The Office. Never! It's retarded. <laughs> it's not retarded. <laughs> Fucking sucks that show. 14 Pat for 20. Kazurkistan says, this is one US dollar. I love you guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. King Tail for five. T-Max Spitz. Is he referring? Okay, whatever. He hasn't Jacob raped for two. Anyone. I used to steal Tom, games. Wait, from what was that? Tom McDonald has raped someone. T Max Spitzum Spitz. hasn't raped since Encore. Wrapped. Oh. Yeah, he's talking about rap. Wrapped. All right. I don't care anymore. Jacob for two. I used to steal games from Goodwill to sell on eBay. Tim Pierce for $1 says nothing, which is the best kind of super chat. Uh, for some reason, I can't refresh this page without it refreshing, which makes me think that you're holding down control or something. I'm not. <laughs> Fucking told you, it's, things are always going weird in here. Okay, why can't I refresh this? Uh, it's just opening a new window every time. Yeah, because everything's fucking broken. Okay, so well, it's go not to the my new, fault. Go to the new it's window. not fucking grandpa doing it. Just it's go, just fucking broken things just happening. Just go to the new window, and it's probably there. Okay. We're almost we're almost through this. We're almost done with this. Yo ho yo ho! It's time for Vito to walk the plank. Tim Pierce for two. Uh, not, okay, I can't read that. Wendy's chilling my blunt for two. We need to audit Vito's problems when he wins. Audit the ball. Spider Eternal for two. Stop skipping super chats, Vito. It's no fun. Yeah, you're skipping super Jess chats. Carl for five. Why is Dick dressed like a pirate? Because he hasn't done the bit. Maybe you it wasn't penis T wag. Okay, it's another TVF joke. Tim Pierce for five, voting, <laughs> okay. Up, non-centralized. Diamond G Private for and two. Private and this should ballot. Be. Booty be butt. Private. Aquavis for two. Voting. I love semen, it's hard what R. what we need. Uh, semen and right. the hard R. Do so, your, Vito, do your here's the fucking thing. Oh! What's the game where we smash all the toys? Oh, the man who tweets about the boys. What's in the box? You know you want it. So get on the scale and smash it to shit! Beatles booty! Beatles booty! Beatles booty! Beatles booty! Wait one second, I first I have something else for you. Someone sent this in. I almost forgot about it, but it fell over. Oh, okay. This is an actual gift. An actual gift. They wanted me to put it in the box, but no, because there are rules. This okay. is... Uh, this breaks the rules somehow? Because it has to be collectibles in the box. Okay. Funko Pops, cards... <laughs> no, not Funko Pops. No Funko Pops. <laughs> There's valuable... Okay, not... Video games are cool. Hold on. Got anyone sent in Hold video on. games? No Funko No Funko Pops in this box. Don't need any fucking Funko Pops. It says, do not bend. This is from Pop Sculpture. He oh, told me to put it in, but I'm Pop like, well, sculpture. no, I think that's not as it's cheating. good for the audience. Do not bend. Okay, so I'm opening this. Don't bend it. There better not be any more Coke cutting cards in there. Oh, I, I mean, like, I saw it. Well, yeah, yeah. I want to see him, though. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. Disappointed about it. No, but I saw. I what are you talking about? I mean, he can't. That, he, oh, that's mine. I'm saying it's not a. Uh, I got spoiled. I saw he was working on these, oh, and they're yeah. very cool. But also, it's a gift for both of us. You can't have a gift for both of us in the box. Well, I was only going to put yours in. That's stupid. You get yours for free, and then yeah. That doesn't make... Wow, look at that. This guy is really that's talented. That's fucking amazing. This guy, mine is way ramped up because it's got that little hat. The hat. These are, as we know, we love the McNugget Buddies. Yeah. Even though I got none of the new ones. Dick said he was going to get me a new one, but it was breakfast, so he couldn't. Look at that guy. I'm gonna Amazing. Hold him, I'm gonna hold him right. Thank you. Hey, hold Pop mine up sculpture. to that one. I can't see. Let me see. Uh, is that in focus at all? I can't uh, click anymore. Is the show still going? I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. There's my McNugget Buddy. What the fuck? It's because of all these Look packing peanuts are on everything. 
Well, that looks pretty good. The fucking mouse doesn't work again. What is happening? Everything's That's, broken. I fucking told you, and every time you're like, oh, people you're are saying I'm a killjoy. Okay, yeah, because you're all depressed because you got <laughs> shouted at. That's why. <gasps> I'm so okay. I'll make the. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! <laughs> it's so, it's so much fun, sad. Dick. Oh. It's so funny. It's such a funny bit. I thought you wanted to have a political show where we tour around arguing about politics. That would be pretty good. You dropped your pirate. Yeah, your parrot. By the way. What? Oh! <laughs> no! No! I've got the booty. No! But over, over, <laughs> over. I don't want to ruin the bit that much. All right. Well, what's it gonna be? You're gonna walk well, now I felt what's in the plank. box. There's like nothing in there. Well, you could <laughs> easily, easily just let it get smashed or burned or whatever it is. You know the rule: five drum rolls. Dar, or you have to five, walk the plank. You five drum five rolls, drum rolls to retarded. think about it. You can phone a friend if you need to do oh, that. I can phone a friend. Yes. I think or you could have the audience vote. A little too long. We have the audience vote. That's, that's another thing you can do. You're taking your stuff out of your pockets. <laughs> uh, note. I got a note. Do you want to know what I got uh, from Valentine's Day? I already Day? know because you opened it before the show. This is better than whatever's in there. I got a $25 uh, Panda Express gift card. Thank you. What's it going to be? That's five drum rolls. Well. What's it going to be before you... Should we shut up and let me answer? All right. <laughs> I think that uh, you know I have nothing. I have nothing to fear this week. I feel like I've done good with uh, dieting. Okay. I've done good with uh, working out. Okay. So uh, I, th you know, I think I think uh, you know I have nothing to lose. What does that mean? I think I'll walk the plank. All right, Captain. get up there. Let's see. Okay. Let me put on some pirate chanty no, me music. I do. Music. Hold on. I do have to put on pirate chanty music. I was cut my thumbnail. I cut pirate the, I cut the tip of my thumb chanty off. music. So I lost a pound there. Ah, uh, here we go. Vocal only. Fuck. Oh, we'd be all right if the wind was in our sails. So we'd be here we go. All right here we go. Zar, he blows. What are you talking about? I hope you are keeping your pants on. How do you think you did from last week? Yeah, so how do you think you did? It's 292.4. 292.5. 292.5. Oh, so you did lose a point one of a pound. I thought I lost like a pound. Uh, maybe you did. I might well, have. wait a minute. I have a... I, no, unlike our election, I yeah. have a fucking tracking on this. I thought it was like 294 was. before. Maybe it was. Let's see. Uh, no, it was. Oh, 292.3. So you've you actually point gained one? Point 0.1 of oh a pound. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're going up. 292.4 now. No, that's too bad. So you're going up and even up more. It's not up more, it's the same. No, it's 0. 0.1 of a pound more. How do you explain that? With how much you know well, about I drank, broccoli and I drank stuff. two Canada one I uh, know I drank one Canada dry. So uh -huh. that's way, you know, I got water weight I'm holding on to. Right. And uh Are you calling into question the scale? No, I think I think you know it's at the end of the day you weigh more than you weigh at the beginning of the day, so it's kind of like what you know mass you put in yourself. Yeah, you know today. So I, you've always weighed yourself at the same exact time on the show. <laughs> I'm saying in general though, on, oh. on my scale, tomorrow morning, I think it'll be a okay. Well, I guess you could get your prize then. Okay, should I? What do you mean, should you? Okay. Oh, hey, it's that Final Fantasy thing. Cool. He's happy about this crap. <laughs> and he was upset about the other crap that he got. No, this thing's... Uh, now he's happy about this piece of crap. I wanna... There's a little note in there, too, oh, for you. Oh, a little note. Where's the note? Probably in the box. It's got a battery. Oh, here we go. Uh, hey, Dick, Vito might enjoy this tchotchke. Please give it to him after he earns it. It is a button which plays the Final Fantasy Victory music. And it's got the Final Fantasy VII logo on it. Oh, you must love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Do I gotta get nagged when I'm happy with the present? You're too? not getting nagged. You're getting can insulted. Get, it's get, not being nagged. It's totally different. Can it just be like, oh, uh, hey, Vito got a thing he wants, and I'm happy for him, and he didn't gain ten pounds. Only point one pounds. Oh, this is fun, you know. Like during my streams, I can. You gotta put the speaker in the mic. Is it not there? There you go. Sounds oh, like on the cheap bag. Chinese crap to me. <sighs> okay, well that's worth uh, three weeks of embarrassment, right? <sighs> Who was embarrassed in your <laughs> mind? <laughs> that's uh, pretty great. Somebody sent in a one of a kind. Button. No, not one of a kind, but it, very, it is a rare promotional item. <laughs> oh, you're so bitter that it's not a gay man's well, cradle or whatever it is. I'm glad I didn't let you uh, smash it. I would have felt bad. Oh, you would have felt bad. Well, because the guy sent it in. It's like, you know, it's like a nice thing he did. Okay, well, I would have put in something more Funko Poppy, but nobody sent one in. Stop. So don't give him any Funko If anybody Pop sends shit. in... Well, Is it broken? Off. No, I just keep accidentally pressing. Because you took the, t the tab out, so now it's gonna run out of batteries and make that no, sound. No, every time all you night. press it, it makes the noise. Arr. And we got our McNugget buddies. Look at that. How disappointed are you? Are you on a I scale of one to ten? I think disappointed that you didn't get to burn a thing. I don't care. Okay, good. I don't care about these things. <laughs> I think the audience, uh, you know, I hope nobody in the audience is going like, oh, you know, Vito didn't get to have a shitty week again, you know? You obviously had a shitty <laughs> well, week. Well, you had obviously had a shitty time happen. today. I had a, no, I had a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> why are people saying boo? Uh, if, the, if the point of the bit is just to make me miserable, like, why didn't Dick just poke my eye out every fucking episode? Is that what? That's all they want. That's, That's why the bit doesn't work. Uh, it's not. It's not like, oh, Vito might get something good. It's like Vito might suffer. And if he doesn't suffer, we're gonna be upset. So how about at the end how about at the end of every episode you just I don't know, punch me in the face. That'd be funny too. That's what you want though. <laughs> no, I so, don't. I don't want any I do want that. <laughs> Can the audience like be like, oh hey, it's good. You know, Vito's been a good sport. He gets a little thing. You have it's not fun. been a good sport. I've been a very good sport. <laughs> I've been an excellent sport. Can you bring up the uh, our no, top supporters? No, I can't because the thing's fucking broken. Right. Well, because uh, you were fucking fiddling hit with the it. the Patreon image. Is it? It doesn't fucking it's work. Frozen. How do we end the stream? I don't know. You fucking did this when you were on your mouse. Oh my god, I did not do this. I don't know how we end the stream. Well, I mean, we can hit end stream. Well, end. you gonna end it? Is it over? What do you mean it's Guys, over? There's don't no more super bonus chat. Bonus problem. Uh, bonus episode at biggestproblem.show. Uh, vote on all the problems. And uh, thank you for my stupid Final Fantasy button. I'm, I'm very Oh, excited. so ungrateful. No, I like it. It's cool. It's you seem disappointed. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> I like it. I wanted this I would be. Thing. It's a piece of crap. I wanted people to send in little things, and then everybody said it would be funny to send in big shit and then make Vito have a fucking existential crisis about burning cool nerd stuff. Okay? Well, you never know. Next week might be... Next week will be a pop Might figure. be something yeah. worse. Might be something worthless or something worthless. You never know well, what it's going to be. I appreciate all the little toys. Thank you, everybody. And uh, we will be back next week with more problems. All right. Goodbye. Stop booing Vito. He really, stop booing he me. really hates it. So I guess you better stop doing Can I get, it. Like, I hate you guys. Thank you. Remember for the, when everyone was nice you and you were like, I don't like it when you're nice to me. Well, I don't and want to be vicious. You. Can you be like kind of like in like normal? It's never good like, enough for you. Killed? It's never good enough. Can I get like a little like, hey, you know, hey, not bad. What? Not <laughs> what bad. What kind of entertainment do you think you're in here, buddy? <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Don't destroy it. That might be rude. <laughs> <laughs> Boo.